me a second, boys. I'm assuming you probably can't hear me because the music's too loud, but just give me a sec. give you a sec fuck off fuck off zach um man is probably pooping i was actually not pooping i shit earlier um i wanted to be somewhat considerate because i usually have like a two hour fucking starting soon screen so what i did instead was um i waited until i was about to go and like shower and all that you know fucking clean myself up then i i turned my my stream live so like i, I shaved my mustache and all that shit i also um I'm not going to wear the hat today because I don't think my hair looks that bad right now. So, uh, I'm okay with this. That was considerate. No shit. <laughs> Listen, it was either a 40 minute starting soon screen or a two hour one. Also, what's up, David? Yo, Andy, what's good, King? Um, looking good. Uh, I look all right. I look all right. Yeah. 40 minutes is considerate. Thank you. See, Ren understands, dude. That's why you're the protagonist. Homie, homie gets it. Good luck with the stream. Your persona videos helped me out a lot. Um, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Just have a 10 minute one. <sighs> yeah, but like I don't take 10 minute, you know, showers and like fucking shaves. Like, you know, I. I... You guys have like an existential crisis whenever you get in the shower, because that's how it is for me. Right. Like I go into the shower expecting to be in there for like 10 minutes. Right. But then I hop in there and I'm like. Damn. Like, you know what I mean? I, I get inside and then I just start thinking. So I was pretty much in the shower for probably like 30 minutes, uh, just thinking and, you know, focusing on like, you know, what am I going to do? Like, fucking. but I was also like patting myself in the back in the sense of being like, dang, you have streamed every Saturday of the year so far. You are fucking killing it. And somehow I'm keeping up with work. I don't know how I'm doing it. I'm, I'm not like ahead by any means, but I'm, I'm keeping up in like a moderate way, which uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud about. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a good feeling. I do need to, uh, finish a couple things though, because I'm still not done with Tyler's video. Um, that shit is taking me an eternity, but, uh, uh, I do need to finish that. Um, I have a video for Crystal that I've needed to finish since the beginning of January. So that's kind of my priority right now. Cause that's like the oldest commission I've had on me. Uh, so I want to get that finished. Uh, and then. Uh, I want to finish Tyler's and then I'm going to move on to one of my newer clients, uh, which I'm also really excited about. Um, but I'm really happy so far with what I've done with Tyler's video. Um, I, I think it'll be really, really good. I think you guys are going to like it a lot. Um, if you guys like, if you guys miss my videos, um, you will very much enjoy the video I'm doing for Tyler. It's, it's very much a Pinoy video as much as it is a Tyler, uh, video. Um, he pretty much gave me like full uh, creative control and um, I don't know if that's a good thing if I'm being honest because I, I do think as a creator you got to have some kind of uh, leash on on your, your editors so that way it still remains your video because one of my worries is that it might be too much of a Pinoy video than it is a Tyler video <laughs> but um, um, I don't know maybe maybe that'll end up being a good thing over a bad thing we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, Hello, Chris. What's going on, man? Quincy, what's good, dude? How's Fire Emblem treating you, bro? Did you finish it? Um, what what are you all up to? What are you guys all playing? I uh, I haven't been doing too much. Just just mostly working. Um, I'm not like you know depressed or anything. I'm just I'm mostly been working, keeping keeping towards my goals. Um, as far as playing, I uh, I'm still playing God of War Ragnarok. I did beat the final boss, and I was going to kind of review the game today, but. Um, there's an epilogue and I don't want to like review it until I finish the epilogue. Uh, but also on top of that, um, I am enjoying the game so much that I'm actually going out of my way to hundred percent the game. So I don't know if there's a super boss in the game, but I'd like to go and do that to kind of talk about it. Um, I'm, I'm very much enjoying it. 
Uh, it's super great. Um, don't start until you're going to start. If you ain't thinking in the shower, you're not using your time wisely. See, I, I, I agree with that. I think I get the most focused when I'm either A, talking to somebody uh, that's important to me, or B, I'm showering. It's really strange. Um, <laughs> I uh, One of my friends, they, they're pretty religious, and something, I don't know what religion has to do with this, but he was, um, I'm not a very religious person, uh, but he told me because of like all the stress that I was, uh, I dealt with through a lot in my life and, you know, including now, um, something he, he really implanted into me was to meditate. And at the time I was like, bro, meditation is a fucking meme. I'm not going to sit there and fucking, um, like that's not going to do shit for me. Right. But then, um, he explained like meditation in a way that like my brain hadn't really perceived it yet. Um, and is more of like a way to kind of uh, focus, uh, like clear your mind and focus. And obviously clearing your mind is pretty hard. But um, he gave me like a bunch of different ways, like examples that uh, I could do to like help with that. And one of the main ones that he had said that I could try is, well, why don't you just go in the shower and then like empty your mind? And I'm like, OK, well, sure. And pretty much ever since he told me that in high school, when if I'm really, really stressed, I know this is so weird. If I'm really, really stressed, I go in my shower and just shower um, and kind of like empty my mind. And like, it sounds so fucking weird, but like hot water pouring on my naked body is <laughs> um, helps me empty my mind and then just kind of like let everything out into like silence and then refocus myself to think exactly on what it is that I want to do and what I need to do. Um, now uh, I've, I've talked a lot before about how like, obviously I deal with a lot of stuff and um, a lot of my life is focused on like deadlines and working a lot. Um, now that I'm really thinking about it, I guess showering really is kind of the, the main way that I've dealt with burnout. Cause I know a lot of creators deal with burnout and um, for like seven years of doing content creation, I think I've only burned out once, um, maybe twice. But that that was like dealing with extensive levels of like uh, mental anguish uh, that I like it was really hard to deal with. But generally, like, you know, I won't lie to you. Um, I don't sleep too much. Like I, I've been doing this thing where I periodically nap throughout the day if I'm working a lot. Um and uh, that's kind of how I'm like trying to keep rest in my body. But I'm not like, you know, God, I hate my life or, or anything like that, even though I have a, like a bunch of work that I need to do um, and like financial troubles and shit. Um, but yeah, uh, your your worst deadline uh, than mine by a month. I mean, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, the the nice thing with Crystal is she's very, very cool with deadlines. She uh, is really fantastic to work for honestly um hopefully you know um the video i'm working for her she ends up liking it and uh we can go to another video to work on that'd be nice um i mean after stream today i need to do i gotta do shorts for sanch and yuka and then i wanted to finish doing the majority of the editing for uh crystal's video uh so that tomorrow i could finish crystal in the morning and then spend the rest of the day doing tyler that's kind of like where where i'm like thinking I'm going to do my work uh, right now, which by the way, I'm only thinking of this because I'm really uncomfortable in my chair right now. Um, I've said this before, but I absolutely hate gamer chairs, bro. This shit does not align. You can see this shit does not align to my back. I'm sitting up straight and I'm basically sitting on nothing. It fucking is terrible. Um, but uh, the gamer chair I was using before this, I have two gamer chairs in my house. The last gamer chair, the one I normally use fucking snapped yesterday, which pissed me off man like i know you could sit there and just be like oh it's because you're fucking fat yeah i am fucking fat what can i do about it well i can't do something about it but whatever uh the the chair snapped it wasn't broken but like basically instead of being the let me see instead of being like this it was like this it was literally like the pewdiepie fucking can your chair do this shit i was like i'm not working like this bro i'm not working like this so i got the other one but um the problem with that one is the the chair can't roll like it doesn't move because for whatever reason the pole like flew straight down and is stuck 
Um, so I, I just waste hours of my day. Not really hours is more like an hour. Um, ripping out the bottom half of the broken chair and putting it onto this chair so that it works now. No, 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 kind of fine. Um, also, I, I'm sorry if I'm slowly getting through chat. I'm just, you know, kind of talking and rambling about stuff. Um, shower thoughts are real. Dude, they really are, to be honest with you. And I'll, I'll get to Twitch chat. I just, uh, I prioritize YouTube chat generally, but yeah. Um, check DMs. I finished Blue Lions route 108 hours on one route, bro. Holy fuck. Oh my God. I'm curious to see what you think of uh, how they handled some of the, the ending stuff. Because I, I think it's beautiful, especially in Blue Lines. It's beautiful. Um, did you start another route? Uh, if you did, oh my God. I hope, I hope you try Crimson Flower next. I feel like Crimson Flower and Blue Lions feed into each other really well in terms of seeing um, multiple perspectives of uh, the same story. Um, Meditation slash yoga is pretty base though. I've never done yoga, uh, so I do need to try that. My chair did the same thing. OPC to skin. Yeah, OPC is fucking trash, bro. I mean, there's a reason the company doesn't exist anymore. Um, just get a Herman Miller. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I would if I wasn't broke. Um, I, I almost debated putting like a, a fucking donation goal to get a Herman Miller, but I was like, no, that's like, what's more important right now is making sure my bills are paid and my taxes are paid and I'm not in debt anymore. That'll be like where all my money goes towards. Um, I, I will get, I do want to get like a nice chair at some point, but I just have too many responsibilities and like debt that I need to deal with first, which is unfortunate because, you know, if you're working all day and you're sitting in a chair all day, you should have a good fucking chair to go along with it. Same goes with sleep. Um, yeah. I'm sold on it now as an investment. Oh, I'm the same. Like, I, I want a Herman Miller. It's, I just wish I could, like, you know, put money towards it currently. Get a glimpse. Uh, I didn't start a new route, but I intend to within the year. Yeah, that, no, that makes sense because, dude, 100 hours is a lot to put in your first, uh, your first playthrough. Okay, let me uh, look at Twitch chat now. My, my bad, Twitchers. That was a terrible fucking name. I'm never calling you Twitchers again. Um, let's see. Damn, are you still alive? What the fuck is that supposed to mean, Mo? What the fuck? Um, uh, here, but I'll not give you this. Big, beautiful. Oh my god. I hate that in Twitch chat. If I scroll up to like read it and then somebody types a new message, it like jumps back to the top. Uh, it's so annoying. I take showers just to shit. <laughs> Have you, have you ever like uh, actually honest to God shit in the shower before? Cause I have once and it is absolutely disgusting. Um, I'm singing my heart out in the shower. Yeah. So, sometimes I do sing, sing a fuck ton in the shower or like dance a fuck ton in the shower. It's uh, it's very nice. <laughs> oh, I sometimes say for hours. Can I take my phone in? Yeah. I want, I usually do that, but, um, I don't have any bags to like put my phone in anymore. Ugh. Excuse me. I want to get a. A Bluetooth speaker, um, but I, I don't want to put money towards it right now. But I want to get like a Bluetooth speaker to like listen to podcasts or something while I'm showering. I decided on the topic of my final uni project. The official title is Construction and Evaluation of a Video Game for Supporting Well Being and Promoting Mindfulness. Hell Zombies Pokemon Be. Okay, that's fucking huge. What the hell? Damn, bro. You're, you're, you're going to get a goddamn uh, degree off that shit, dude. Oh my God. It's Dr. Specky Games author of construction and evaluation of a video game for supporting well-being and promoting mindfulness. And then I'll be in the back. That's like, dude, mindfulness. That's, that's the rank 10 confidant perk with Dr. Maruki. And, and <laughs> sorry. Uh, I'm playing Elden Ring again and amazed at how much worse. Oh, hold on. How much worse, dude. God, Twitch chat sucks. How much worse I think the game is now. Really? Uh, I mean, I do think big open world games like Elden Ring or Breath of the Wild, I don't think I can replay just because like, even though I think Breath of the Wild is might be the best game I've ever played in my life, uh, I have no desire to replay it again. Um, and I think it's because a big part of, you know, vast open worlds like that. I think discovery and exploration is what I kind of value more than anything else in those kinds of games. And once I've discovered and or explored like the entirety of what's to offer, there's not much incentive for me to go back. Um, like you could make the argument like, oh, well, what about the combat? And like, I like Breath of the Wild's combat and I like Souls combat. So I'm sure I would like Elden Rings. But um, 
if I'm replaying a game specifically for combat, um, <laughs> I is might sound weird, but I prefer linear games for for something like that. So like like a Devil May Cry, a Bayonetta, um, as ridiculous as it's gonna sound, uh, Persona uh, is pretty pretty linear to be honest with you, uh, and it makes it easy to replay for me. Um, I wonder, fat. Okay, Maladux, the fuck, man. Uh, hello, hi. How you doing, Haya? What's up, Delano? Hello, hello. On four hours of sleep. Hey, dude, me too, actually. Me too. Um, after, after stream today, I'm going to nap before I get back to work. Um, I want to remove that fat. <laughs> Joke died years ago. <laughs> dude, I, I've been hearing that shit since high school, man. Um, Delete fate, bro. I wish. Holy fuck. That is something I wish I could do. I want to be a fate breaker, dude. Broken chairs fucking suck. They do. Sitting up right now to talk to you guys is killing me, by the way. Um, do not kill the part that is cringe. Kill the part that cringes. <laughs> oh my god. Uh just kill the part that is uh fat shaming over and don't be a piece of shit. Um wow. I'll be a doctor unless I get a PhD, which is another two years in uni, and I cannot be bothered to do this again. What do you mean, dude? Oh my god, it's a great time, right? Brother, man, I've been playing the three houses. Finally, everything is getting new to me. I played until after Battle of Lion Eagle. Dude, the song that plays during uh, the Battle of uh, Lion or whatever the fuck is so good, bro. Um, that song slaps. It really is not. Yeah, no, I'm with you, dude. Um... Sounds horrible. You got a waffle stomp to save. <laughs> okay. Brush your teeth too and save three times. I, I brush my teeth in the shower. Is that weird? I, um, I watched a YouTube video in like 2007 or 2008 of a guy who was, who vlogged and, um, he, <laughs> this makes me sound really old. I don't think they even do YouTube anymore. His name was what the buck. Um, and I, I used to watch this guy when I was like 10 or 11, something like that. Uh, he did like song parodies, but it, that, that's irrelevant. He had a vlog where um, he talked about how he brushes his teeth and like, uh, what is it called? Mouthwash in the shower. Uh, and I was like, what the fuck? That's genius. So I, I just do that now. Um, mostly because it gives me a reason to like, um, I, I, I don't know if this makes me sound disgusting, but like growing up, I had a hard time uh, remembering or like caring enough, I guess, combination of remembering and caring to brush my teeth or especially do mouthwash. Um, but when, when I started showering, it just became a part of the routine and it, I don't know that, uh, that just helps me do it, I guess, <laughs> uh, to like, you know, regulate, uh, the health benefits and shit like that. Um, yeah, to me it's weird, but I know several people that do it. So to each their own. Yeah, I know for sure. Um, I, most people, I don't think I've ever met another person that does it. Other than, I guess, David and now Andy. <laughs> I've never really met other people that do that. Um, well, I mean, my brother does it. Um, and August does it, so. I don't know if August ever did it before uh, meeting me, though. I don't, I don't know. I should ask them that. Uh, I don't know how you played through it within 30 hours. I'm about 20 hours in. I'm only just, uh, just reached Chapter 8. Well, okay, the first playthrough, I'm pretty sure took me about 60 hours. The second, like, subsequent playthroughs took me about 30. Um... But yeah. And that's because uh, the first 10 or 11 chapters are the same thing across the other routes. So I would just skip like every cutscene to like be lying to that. Um, not gonna, I was happy to see you stream today. I've been losing, I've been on a losing streak in leave. So you definitely turned my day around. Oh, thank you, Chrono Burner. Hopefully, uh, hopefully your games go better, bro. I, um, I've been, when I was gathering some footage for Sanchovies last night, uh, he seemed to be on a really bad, uh, loose streak as well. And I was getting the vibe from him. I, I don't watch league streamers or content creators, but based off of what he was saying, uh, I guess the current meta for the season is, uh, pretty bad, uh, which I feel like I hear that a lot, but, uh, hopefully, you know, your, your games turn around and go better. Um, I didn't learn you were supposed to put water on the toothpaste until like a year ago. Uh, okay. That's like a weird thing with me, Maladux. Most people I know don't do that. I've always done that because again, this is going to sound weird, but like, I don't like how dry <laughs> toothpaste is when it gets in my mouth. So I always put, I always wet my toothbrush, um, before and after I put it in my mouth, Ugh. excuse me, 
Because if I'm going to put something massive and girthy into my mouth, I need to make sure it's slimy as well. Um, otherwise, it just doesn't go in and out that way. <laughs> Sorry. Um, is there New Game Plus? Yeah, there's New Game Plus. And, and I actually think Three Houses has, like, the best New Game Plus of any game I've ever played. You can just infinitely, like stat boost your characters it's, it's crazy um and there's a thing called favor or fervor i can't remember you there's a book in your room that you can spend your favor on um it's it makes new game plus uh playthroughs like amazing you can go literally to like new game plus 300 like you can literally infinitely like boost your character it's crazy however you will run into the issue that you were having with strikers where like you're just going to be so broken where like you could you just kill everything um i did do that i'm not gonna lie uh though Mostly because um, I just wanted to get the story out of the subsequent playthroughs. Um, but yeah. That's how I assumed it was supposed to work. I have no idea. Yeah, but it's pretty bad and thanks. Hey, I believe in you, bro. Um, I've had too much dental work on my teeth since I was a, a kid to not brush them. Um, yeah, I, um, I, I've told this story before, but I've actually never been to a dentist. Um, I need to and I should um hopefully i can get like health insurance uh, whenever i'm i'm not in debt anymore i, w I would like to go see a dentist because uh, i mean thankfully um my teeth don't hurt so i don't think i have cavities i never i've never liked sugar or sweets so that's like one blessing right uh throughout my life i hate candy you know i hate cake i hate cupcake i hate all that shit i think it's disgusting um i've always thought it was disgusting uh but um I never had like health insurance or like my, my dad was like a big believer. For example, he, he always thought the dentist is like bad for you. <laughs> so I, I've never been to a dentist in my life. Uh, I, I actually have no idea what it's like. Um, yo, what's up, my kids? How you doing, brother? Uh, I feel like I'm not really that interested in doing the same shit three more times. Uh, so I can see what happens after. Um, I would definitely tell you at least do one more playthrough. I think Blue Lions and Crimson Flower are like mandatory. You have to play those. Uh, Golden Deer, pass. You, you don't have to do that. Uh, Church Route, pass. You don't have to do that. Um, I do recommend uh, playing the DLC if you have that. But yeah. Um, before I decide to play another game of League, Pinoy, do I play League or Nocturne? Wow, you really want to hurt yourself today. <laughs> look, look, I so whenever I come up with a decision to like this uh, decision like this Chrono Burner, I like to um put it towards luck, lady luck. Uh, <laughs> so I would say heads you play league, tails you play nocturne. Hey Google, flip a coin. Let's see what you're doing. All right, you're playing Nocturne. All right, hop on Nocturne, buddy. Good luck. <laughs> Hopefully you don't get um, absolutely ass blasted. <laughs> um, you're <God. laughs> The story is the most concise in Golden Deer, but it's mostly through exposition dialogue. Very true. You and Tyler really are the same person. What is that supposed to mean? Um, I can't stand the tartar on my teeth, says my motivation to brush teeth regularly. Plaque. What does plaque look like? Isn't it black shit? Plaque. Teeth. Oh, this shit. Yeah, no, I can't stand this stuff either. I do have quite a bit of uh, this, like, yellow shit. Like, you can see my, my teeth are not hard. I do have quite a bit of it. It's not horrible, but, like, it definitely, I do have, like, quite a bit of it. Um... You can, can you remove that? Like, can that, can I, I don't, I've never been to a dentist. I literally have no idea. Can a dentist just go through and like remove that? Like, is that a thing? I have no idea. Um, you're a freak. I love sweets and I didn't brush my teeth often when I was a kid. So my teeth are absolutely fucked. Yeah. See, like th that's something I'm, I'm, I was kind of scared of, uh, when I was younger. Um, so I don't know, maybe it was a, some, maybe it was a subconscious thing. I was like, oh my god, I can't, you know, eat sweets or my teeth will break. But it was definitely a combination of probably that, and I also just don't like sweets. Uh, the music in the entire uh, group in the GD route. Oh my god, yes. Dude, the, uh, the, what do you call it? Final boss theme for Golden Deer is, is so goaded, dude. It's so goaded. Um, what's your fusion name with Tyler? Panem Wenoy? Um... 
I don't know. I actually have no idea. You know, if you combine Chris and Tyler, you'd, you'd get either Kryler or Triss. Triss makes us sound sexy, dude. How about, how about Triss Sister? Triss Sister 69. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> um, yo, Zafi. Hey, sexy. How are you? Uh, can't wait to get Hama every second. You got this, man. You got this. Um, you're both that one character from Demon Slayer that decides the entire life of flipping uh, fucking coins. Make a decision yourself, cutie. I don't even remember that character. I'm not going to lie. I, dude. Demon Slayer, people are going to hate me for this, but I think Demon Slayer is like really forgettable. I, I think the animation is great, but like I, I find Demon Slayer's story and characters to be like extremely forgettable. I barely remember. I, I watched all of season one and two. I can maybe only recite to you like two scenes. I don't remember anything. I don't even remember that character you're talking about. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, I heard you saying which games are great. I feel like my TS is going to put Nick in a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was talking to Nick yesterday, man. I'm glad he's doing well. I watched him play a bit of Dead Space. By the way, I really want to stream the Dead Space remake. I've talked about this before when, when the trailers were coming out. Dead Space was one of my favorite survival horror games growing up, and I'm so glad I got a remake. It looks amazing. I really, really want to play it. Um, I don't know when I'll stream it, but I do want to stream it. This is the Patara. Kryler is the fusion dance. That, that's good. I like that. That's really good. Um... You know, I forgot I came prepared on Nocturne. I have like 80 chakra drops and 92 life stones. Hopefully that all doesn't go away in one boss fight. That's what you got to hope for. Uh, what about Chainsaw Man? I've read Chainsaw Man. I uh, haven't watched it, but I've never read nor saw Demon Slayer. Uh, I think Demon Slayer is worth watching. I just don't like, I just don't think it's uh, as good as like people say it is. Um, Chainsaw Man is like super, super uh, interesting to me. I have not played it, but I do. I'm really looking forward to it. Yuka, yo, what's up, dude? Uh, I'm going to be finishing your shorts after the stream, uh, actually. So I should be sending it to you tonight. Uh, but yeah, dude, I, I watched a bit of your Dead Space, Dead Space, Dead Space playthrough uh, last night to get some shorts from it. Oh my God, bro. The game looks so fucking sick. I like how, dude, sometimes the way that you narrate yourself is like so like out of this world that it just makes me laugh, bro. Like, I can't remember exactly what you said, but you like got it. Like, woke up into the Ishimura or some shit, and you're like, all right, guys, I am the dead space or some shit. I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, actually, um, bro, the other day, I saw your, your tweet about, like, concerned about, like, being, like, a, an entertaining creator or whatever. Homie, listen, I'll be completely straight with you. Um, <laughs> I've had one of the best times working with you uh, versus a lot of my clients. So, so believe me when I say you're doing, you're doing good stuff. I really do genuinely hope that your channel like blows up or something because you, you deserve it. You, you're definitely a hard worker and I can tell you put a lot of effort into your stuff. Um, Chainsaw Man might be the best new manga in the past like five to ten years. That good, huh? I mean, I hear the, the author himself uh, just does good shit in general. Like there's one manga he wrote. I don't remember the name of it. Um, I didn't I didn't read it either. I just know it has to do with like a guy who uh and this is going to be a really poor description because i i just watched like a, a video talking about it uh, it was like a guy who like an entire town like burned down or something and he was like he almost or like i think humanity was ending and he had the choice to like either breed with his sister to like continue humanity or some shit but then like then his sister died and then he had to like i don't know i was like this is fucking wild i was like this is crazy but i, I Fire punch. Yeah, that's it. Uh, oh, I'm a cry. Oh, nah, dude. I, genuinely, dude. I, I, I'm really glad that I got the chance to work with you. Um, nothing compared to you, bro. You deserve the world. Nah, bro. Listen, I, <laughs> I, I try my best. I try my best. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how things go for me. But definitely, I believe in you. Um, Yuka base. Yes, Yuka's very base. Go, go. Well, let me let me link her stuff. I don't know how many of you guys are into VTubers, but um, Yuka's, Yuka's awesome. And I'm really, really happy that I get the chance to work with her. Let me find my Twitch chat. Okay, there we go. Whoa, it says at Yuka Bear. That's fucking crazy. Bro, you know, uh, YouTube started doing this thing where you can like put an at symbol like Twitter into your, into your YouTube. And like, 
I, I wanted to put my name as at Pinoy, but then like it was taken, which is not surprising, right? Like how many uh, fucking everybody in the world that's Filipino probably was like, what should I name myself? <laughs> how about Pinoy? Um, but yeah, so Pinoy was taken and I'm like, oh, what do I do? Pinoy underscore doesn't let me do it. And I'm like, what about Pinoy period? And it accepted it, but now I hate it. Like it's better than people seeing my name as like, uh, if you guys didn't know this, I don't know if the link still works. Let me see. Oh my God, the link still works. Okay, so you guys are probably gonna fucking cringe hearing this, but like, whatever. So if you didn't know, I, I have two YouTube channels. Okay, well, uh, all right, I have like four that I use regular, regularly, but growing up, I, I had, I, I'm just gonna bring you on like a, a fucking history on of, of Christian, <laughs> me. So like when I started YouTube, I had an account called Sasuke on Boo 07 because I made it in 2007. All right, don't fuck. Listen, I was like seven or eight. I made I made Naruto AMVs when I was younger. I did Naruto and Bleach AMVs. That's what I did. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> now I deleted that account because uh, I got sick of making AMVs. So I posted Guitar Hero uh, uh, FCs, uh, which are just like I was really good at Guitar Hero. So I would play an expert and like full combo, uh, which is basically like 100%ing a song and never missing the streak. Um, that was something that I would post. And the kids at school, um, because I found out about YouTube through somebody at school who was like, dude, have you ever listened to, to uh, Bad Day by Daniel Powder? Which is like, you had a bad day. And, and I was like, oh my God, that's a really good song. So I was like, where, where do I listen to it? And then um, my, my friend was like, uh, I don't remember what the fuck he said, but he basically told me, there's this website called YouTube. You got to check it out. And I was like, whoa, okay, I'll do that. And at the time, I'd never used the internet, really. Uh, the only time I, I used the internet was to, like, look up uh, video game cheats and, like, God, this makes me sound so old. Uh, did you guys ever used to, I don't know if, if this dates myself, did you guys ever used to take, um, like, journals and then write the name of a game at the top and then write the cheat codes in it? That, that was something I used to do. Um, that was the only thing I ever used the internet for. Um, but I only did that because I used to get, uh, I used to go to the, I don't know if they still do this, but they used to do like book fairs at my school when I was in elementary school and you would, you could buy like cheat books. I can't remember the names that, let me see, uh, gaming cheat book. Um, I don't. Oh yeah. They look like, uh, they look like this. Um, this isn't like exactly the one I had, but they look, they look something like this codes and cheats. Like, so something like that. Um, I, I would, I would buy those and I would write from them, uh, as well as like game informer magazines. Cause I was subscribed to game informer. That's how I found out about like, you know, games coming out. Uh, I don't know why I'm telling you this. This is irrelevant to the story, but <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, my friend tells me to go on YouTube. Uh, I look up that Daniel Powder song and I'm like, wow, this is a great fucking song. It's not, by the way, uh, but uh, excuse me. Uh, that guy who told me about YouTube is where I got to the point of um, making those Guitar Hero videos. Then the people at, at school found out about me making the Guitar Hero videos and then they made, they bullied me over it. So I deleted the account. So if you actually go on YouTube and type in like youtube.com slash user slash Sasuke on bo 7 I'm assuming, yeah, this page isn't available. Sorry about that. So from there you go into like the next chapter of my life, um, which, oh my God, I know the channel's still up. Uh, I'm, I'm going to regret talking about this, but whatever. So from there, I got to the point of wanting to make, um, like tech videos because uh, in in uh, middle school I got really into like PC building and and Apple products uh, not like a from like a fashion sense but like from a technological standpoint uh, I was fascinated by how uh, uh, what the fuck is it called Mac OS was like done uh, even to this day I think Mac OS is like really impressive uh, but uh, yeah anyway I was really into that in middle school so I made a YouTube channel called Electronics Critics. And yes, that channel is still up. All of the channels are deleted except one video, which is, I please don't watch it. It's a video that like basically links people to either my channel or my brother's channel. 
uh, because we we ran the channel together. Um, and yeah, that uh, I I wasn't bullied off of that. I just like I didn't have a desire to continue it because by the time I got into high school, I realized that um, even though I like technology, it's not something that I could like stake my life towards. So I wanted to get into gaming because gaming has always had always been a constant in my life that I really cared about. And I felt like it was something I would like to base my entire life and or career on. And, and it is uh, slash was, uh, so I made a channel called Pinoy brothers 54. That channel is still up. I don't know if there's any videos on it. I hope to God there isn't. Okay. Yeah, there isn't. Um, and on that channel, uh, I posted gaming videos, mostly like let's plays. Uh, but that channel, um, <laughs> You guys are going to laugh when I tell you this story. So that channel died because when I got monetization, um, I promised, uh, what do you call it? Um, my friends that if they watched my videos, if I got enough ad revenue, I would buy them a game. And <laughs> Google had a thing on, on Google AdSense that saw an unusual amount of traffic on my videos for how small the channel was that it, they blocked monetization on that channel. So I was like, um, I thought it was like doomed. I was like, dang, I guess my YouTube career is over. Uh, but I made a secondary channel during that time, uh, for vlogs. Okay. And that's actually the channel you're watching me on right now. Um, all of those old videos are gone. Um, I will probably react to them one day in the future. Uh, cause I have them saved on my computer. I don't want to watch them, but I think it'll be fun to go through one day on stream. Um, but yeah, this, this channel is that vlog channel and that this channel's original name before I changed it. Okay. <laughs> Keep in mind, I made it when I was in middle school. Okay. I was like 13. The name is Chris pones you and it's spelled. I will, I'll, I'll type it in chat cause I'm not, I'm. <laughs> It's spelled like this. Um, and if you actually go to the link, you type youtube.com slash user slash Chris pones you YouTube will redirect Chris pones you to Pinoy, <laughs> which is how, you know, it's still the same channel. Um, <laughs> now, obviously I did not want to go by the name Chris pones you, uh, <laughs> Um, I even, um, the, the old email that this account was attached to was Chris says what the at gmail.com because my friends used to make fun of me in middle school because my reaction to everything was saying what the, and I could not come up with an email name. So that was my email. Um, but I mean, that's not even my oldest email. My, my oldest email was Kakashi fanatic two, 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 which make your own decisions on, on how that was. But, uh, <laughs> Anyway, to get back to the point of why I even went down this path, um, uh, I got the, ch the chance. YouTube finally gave users the chance to make your, your URL, the default URL, something else, right? Because you could have a custom URL, which I had as Pinoy Brothers YT for YouTube, and I didn't like that one either. I wanted it to be just Pinoy because the channel name is Pinoy. I just wanted it to be that, but you couldn't have that as a default link but they finally added it. Um, and now that I can finally have the YouTube account just be youtube.com slash at Pinoy, you have to put a period on it and it fucking infuriates me because for one, why do I have to put a period in it? That's stupid. But then two, it makes me come across as like some weirdo serious guy. Like I'm not Pinoy, I'm Pinoy period. Like, you know what I mean? Like whenever I see a period in text, I'm, I'm immediately like, this guy's serious. Like, you, you know what I mean? I fucking hated it. Chris pones you as my new, fuck off Minato. Fuck off. <laughs> Let's go hand. <laughs> uh, oh no. A true Naruto fan. Yeah, dude. Naruto and bleach were like my shit. I had, uh, I had so many posters of, uh, Ichigo and Naruto. Um, I actually still have my bleach and Naruto wall scrolls. My bleach wall scroll isn't in my room, but my Naruto one, I think it is. I'll see if I can find it. I'm pretty sure my Naruto wall scrolls in here. Okay. No, it's not in my closet. I thought it was, but, um, 
It's somewhere in here. Um, what happened? I don't know, man. What happened to to me? I think I found the electronics search channel after putting that in the search bar. Yes, yeah, you you could put it in the search bar and it'll go to it. Just please don't. And like, I'm telling you, just just don't. <laughs> this history lesson is wild. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but hey, you know, you got to start somewhere and uh, now I'm at a point of where I'm, I'm making the stuff that I want to make um, Found it. Oh great <laughs> Woo! Um, What's up Chris pones you if you fucking do that every time you hop into my chat Minato, I'm gonna kill you I'm, <laughs> I don't mean that twitch. I'm, I don't mean that I'll ban you. That's what I'll do um <laughs> uh, in game, yes, in game, in game. <laughs> I had to do that for my Twitter, but I used uh, an underscore instead. See, I would do that, but like it didn't let me. I had to put a period, and now I hate it. But whatever, it's it's close enough, right? I, at least now you pretty much can't tell that I was Chris Pones. You, you pretty much can't tell. So it's not that bad. Streamers <laughs> chatters with death. Uh, it's better than my middle school. Uh, rom hack let's plays oh my god bro i i had no i had uh i had a minecraft let's play with one of my best friends his name is matt and we called the let's play homo craft um <laughs> not because we were gay but that's just like how i am with my boys if you know what i mean <laughs> uh i don't think i don't think you can get any worse than that bro yeah, but now you told everyone so we all know. Okay, but the difference is like right now, my my viewer base is very small. So like, let's say in the alternate future where I actually have like a moderate viewer base, I just don't say anything. And then all of you guys know the real history. But when you say the real history, all of the newer viewers are going to think you're crazy. Um, but you guys know the truth. You know what I mean? It's more like I'm, I'm preparing you guys to feel like OGs in the future. That's what I'm really doing here. You know what I mean? That's so why you pick an iconic name like Specky Games. Yeah, if your name wasn't Specky Games, I wouldn't be able to say she speckied on my games until I Zachary. You know, like that's that's literally pure the pure essence of of the United Kingdom. Like brother. Yeah, totally believe it. Okay, man. I'm so OG. I'm practically in the grave. Um. <laughs> I don't even know which one of you guys is my oldest viewer. I, I know um one of the, the oldest viewers that hops in my chat sometimes. His name is Illuminati Mariachi. It's um, yo, F, thank you. Is your name F Beth or Effie? I, I don't know if I'm saying your name. I'm going to say F. But I thank you for the prime sub, bro. I appreciate it. Dole? It, Dole is one of the oldest ones. But, like, it's it's David, Dole, Kevin. Uh, These people, Joe. These people were around for a long-ass time. Um... I don't know who exactly is the old, even Chronicle, but like he, he's not like around too much anymore. Yeah, Alex is, is pretty old. Harrison is also a really old uh, viewer. Um, God, that makes me feel so old. Holy shit, you and Tyler are so similar. What do you mean, bro? I, okay. Whatever, never mind. <laughs> yeah, Lewis. Yeah, uh, Lewis. Uh, I know, isn't David from around the Destiny 2 streams? He, he before that, he was, he was around uh, from. When I streamed Cuphead, I think he, he were you around when I when I streamed League. You, I think you might have been David. Did I watch streams because of the P5S giveaway stream? Oh yeah, no, I know, dude. Minato, I've seen you for a long ass time, bro. But like Minato, you're in like a, a a strange position for me because like everyone I've ever worked for, you like watch them. Like j literally, like two or three days ago, I was working on a Sans stream, and you were you were just in his chat saying random shit. And I'm like, oh hey, it's Minato again. Like, <laughs> you just watch a lot of the people that I work with. Um, yeah. The first video I saw from you was I unironically the piss video. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, stalker. How is that stalking, bitch? I'm I'm literally working. I just see you there. You know. Like, oh hey, it's that guy. All right, I'm going to his fucking Twitch. I'm going to follow him, and I'm going to find his Twitter account and his email. I, I'm not really going to do that. I'm going. Uh, I'm around or going on for you. Yes, you've been here for a long time too, Quincy. Actually, never mind. <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, holy fuck! I've been talking for a long time. 
I really can't remember if I watched something before Cuphead stream. But James, yeah, I was watching your vids for a while at that point. Yeah, that's what I remember. Cause I, I, you've been, you've been there for a long time. Uh, I still remember the only reason I stuck around is cause you called me out on stream, as in you said hi to me. That's so fucking hilarious. <laughs> that's really funny. Dang, Pino, I didn't know you were a stalker. Yeah, dude, I, um, I, I am one hundred percent a stalker. If I, if I see someone I recognize, I have to track everything down about them. I joined back during Danganronpa Kingdom Hearts uh, Series Day, not OG, but pretty far back. Yeah. I came, like, just after George. Yeah, that's why for, a, like, a solid month or two, I confused you and George as the same person. Um, <laughs> so, I, I had to I had to call you Specky and call George George uh, until I eventually got used to differentiating the two of you as George and Zach. Specky George. Yeah, pretty much. Um... And what your gaming news vid? Uh, looking for info on a Persona rumor? Oh my god, bro! I I wish uh, I wish I got to do more of those. I I think I did good content with, with that stuff. Uh, I think it's just a shame that I couldn't keep up with it. Hopefully one day, bro. That was a really fun sh uh show that I did because I fucking did. You know, I really like uh I don't know, man. I like the gaming industry. And as boring as that is, I really like gaming news because I'm a gamer. Which by the way, did you guys see the fucking? Uh, never mind. Whatever. <laughs> uh, yo, good morning, True Blade. What's up, King? Um, how's Engage treating you? You know what streams I remember? The Near Automata streams. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, I think you were the one who made me play Nier. Right. Wasn't it? I'm pretty sure you're the one that told me to play Nier. I randomly joined VC, and I think like the second time I was in the server, uh, Kev joined with a fake Chris Crown. <laughs> followed you after. Um... That's fucking hilarious. I never knew about that, but I did. I do remember. Um, I bring this up sometimes on stream, but it was when some guy joined uh, the Discord voice, uh, and it was when David was, I believe his name was Pinoy, and this guy like I can't even remember what he said, but it was some shit like fucking um, Pinoy, you're you're fucking up No Nut November or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I will never not think that's fucking hilarious, bro. I much for Nier and King. Yeah, yeah, okay. I do remember you were the reason I played Kingdom Hearts. My name was Cap. Okay, yeah, there you go. Story still really ass, but that's about it. Yeah, I, well, you know what? Maybe you've hired your last papaya. Okay, I'm, I'm never saying that again. I remember that. I was there. <laughs> oh, my God. Send the clip. Let me find <laughs> Um... I found you and I was trying to find out more about Mega Tanks for the fifth video. Really? What the? What video was it? I dude, I feel like YouTube never recommends my stuff. Um, few days until the Final Fantasy anniversary stream. Yeah, woo! I can't wait for that one, Zoffy. Yeah, looking crazy. Bullshit. I hate it. Found the clip. Go DMs. Okay, so for context, um. <laughs> If you don't know, in my Discord, exclamation point Discord, um, the the other uh, person who runs the Discord, who okay, it's pretty much them who runs the Discord. It's David, um, and he named the the studio as Caps Studio, like the emote Cap, um, and he had his name as the emote Cap for like a long ass time, um, and he was in voice chat. And I guess somebody in the Discord, they joined the, the Discord to like, I'll, I'll just play it. And hopefully you guys can hear this. Let me know if you guys can hear this. Let me turn up the audio. Panoy, you're hard throwing on November, man. Yo, do you think I'm Chris? <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. No, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking to? Yeah. Talking to you! What, dude, I'm not Chris! Dude, I know, dude. I know, I'm just, it's just trolling you because you're Cap, like... Dude, do you... That just, was a very unironic stop. turnaround. Wow. But you're throwing No Not November, bro. Bro, the, the fact that he, he... Oh, oh no, man, oh no. That's pain, that's fucking pain. Yeah, he's totally... <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Just just please stop, bro. Just stop. <laughs> please, God, just stop. Oh, that, that shit is rough. 
I could have just taken the L. Dude, he, he like, if you just admitted it, it would have been totally fine. But he, he kept trying to get the charade to go, and it just... Nah. It, nah. Really one of the uh, editors inspired me to be an editor. Love you, man. Uh, first of all, I'm sorry. But second of all, uh, thank you, I guess. <laughs> uh, where were we just chilling and call? I would assume so. <laughs> God, that laugh was really evil. Oh my, okay, finally. Finally, Nick is here. So something I, I wanted to to um, do before we play Persona 3, um, as I was talking about earlier, uh, I'm really interested in Dead Space, uh, the remake, because I love the original and I love survival horror games. But something I've not watched yet is the Resident Evil 4 presentation or like any of the new shit for Resident Evil 4. And Resident Evil 4 was probably my favorite game in high school. Uh, it was either high school or middle school. I can't remember which. Uh, but I fucking loved Resident Evil 4. It was like unhealthy to the point where like this is back when Skype was a thing and I literally changed my profile picture to the merchant. The guy is like, what are you buying? And, and I just named myself the merchant and it was dude, it was really bad. I was so obsessed with that game, but <laughs> um, there's a remake coming out for it and it's coming out next month, um, but I've not seen any of the trailers surprisingly um, and I'm I am stupid hype for the game. Uh, despite me, the only trailer I've seen was the announcement trailer. So I don't even really know what the game looks like right now. Uh, so I wanted to watch some of this stuff. And Nick is a really big fan of Resident Evil, but I wanted to wait until he hopped uh, hopped in here. Uh, I remember hearing about my I didn't react because I just wasn't sure what I just heard. Oh my god, that's funny. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry about that again. Oh no, no, you're fine. We were just talking about a bunch of random shit, dude. I've been doing this like uh, all my streams. So like something I'd like to do, um, I don't have the time for it right now, but something I'd like to do is to kind of convert, uh, like I want to talk to you guys for about an hour because I know that for a, a lot of people, it's like some people just want to watch me play games and some people just want to like chat with me. Uh, so I'm trying to like, you know, bridge time for both because I like talking, but I also like playing. Um, uh, and yeah, I want to like convert some of the times where I'm talking on stream into, uh, like videos on my YouTube channel because I don't have the time anymore to produce actual content. Uh, so I, I basically just want to take parts of me talking and then, you know, turning it into a YouTube video. That's, that's also why you don't hear any music right now. Uh, it's cause I, I don't have a thing set up on my stream that, um, if you guys watch Sanchovi's, uh, his thing is set up like this where when you're watching him live, he has music playing, but when you're in the VOD, there's no music playing at all. I have not set that up, nor do I know how to set it up. Um, so, uh, I just don't play music. Um, and it like, honestly, I don't think it's that bad because you guys can listen to your own music while you're talking to me, which is probably, you know, better to your preference. Let's be honest. Um, and I'll just, you know, take, take the muted thing and go make something out of it. But, um, Skype bro, are you from the last decade? Um, dude, I used, I used a lot of, did you, did you guys use uh, AOL instant messenger? I don't know how much that just dated me, but did you guys ever use AOL Instant Messenger? Because that's that's how old I was on the internet. No? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Never used AOL. Somebody used MS. Okay. I knew people who used MSN. Um, too young? No. Yeah. See, that doesn't surprise me. You, you guys know what like a VHS is though, right? Two hours starts with one hour talk stream, one level progress in P3, only eight more weeks. Uh, so high enough. I mean, true. You're not wrong. MSN was my age bracket. Yeah, okay. I had a VHS. VHS is the best format. Okay, I don't know about best format, but it's cool. It's cool. I remember the dial-up sounds, dude. Yeah, I hated using the internet because using the internet was literally like fucking sitting there for about three hours. Like, it was literally it's two hours of waiting. And then you finally... Bro, you guys know, um, <laughs> I don't know how you guys are bringing out these like deep receded memories of mine. Um, but on my old ass, like fucking garbage computer, like I'm talking to PC, uh, I used to watch the, okay. So you know how like anime is really easy to watch nowadays with like pirated websites and, and, f or I'm sorry, uh, with like streaming and shit like that <laughs> with like streaming and shit like that. It's like a lot easier to, to watch anime and shit like that. So back then the way that you would have to watch anime was by either getting <laughs> DVDs 
or the way that I did it because I didn't have the money to watch or to, to, to buy DVDs. Um, what I did was I would go on YouTube and there were people that would upload and cause I would try to be like the cool kid in school because there was a Japanese store near me that, that sold imported games. Right. So, um, I would buy, like I would, I got my PS2 modded and I would play like unreleased Naruto and, uh, bleach and dragon ball games that weren't out in America yet. I would play them early and like people would come to my house and be like, dude, that's crazy. Like, Naruto's not this old and I'd be like yeah I know I'm pretty cool but like the way that I would keep up that like uh, or, uh, facade is um I would watch YouTube parts in like 2007 2008 this was before Shippuden had started in America so I would watch the um <laughs> the uh subbed what do you call it um like uh, I'd watch subbed anime on YouTube in parts but okay I could never find the Japanese dubs. It would be the Spanish dub. Um, so I, w I would watch like Dragon Ball. Be like, uh, you know, uh, como estas, uh, muy bien Goku. And then I'd be like, whoa, this is crazy. Like that's <laughs> that was how I would watch like some stuff that I hadn't seen uh, seen yet. Espanol, yeah. <laughs> it was always <laughs> yeah. That, that was like how I, I consumed like anime for a decent amount of time. But like uh I eventually went back to just watching Toonami. If if that you guys watched Toonami. Um the Twitch VOD traction is super easy to do. Yeah, I don't think it takes that long. I just don't know when I'm gonna do it. I should do it though. Um Yeah. Uh is there a way to, to do it for YouTube uh, music though? Because Whenever I, I'm watching Vienna or Sanch, they, uh, their stuff doesn't, it only works through Spotify and I canceled my Spotify subscription and I don't want like Spotify ads to play on stream because that's annoying, you know, <laughs> pay $5 and listen to Spotify. Um, uh, before Shippuden started in NA, uh, you could see Shippuden clips on YouTube. So bizarre to see Naruto not act completely a fool. I mean, true. Death Note on YouTube may, may have been one of the greatest things of all time. Um, when I was younger, I thought Death Note was for fucking losers. I, I would literally um, bully people that watched Death Note because I was like, what the fuck? You're a, you're a emo fucking idiot. Like, that was like what I did because I was an asshole and a loser when I was in elementary school. Surely not. Listen, I got bullied, so I tried to find reason to bully other people. Um, when I was in, like, when I was like eight, I was like eight. Okay. Um, and then fucking, um, when I met August, funnily enough, uh, when I was like nine, I don't know. So, well, I met her earlier than that, but I don't know. I, I, I was at their house and they were like, dude, have you ever seen death note? And I was like, no, I thought that show was for, for like losers when I was, when I was younger, but I've never seen it. And they were like, dude, you should watch it. It's really good. I was like, yeah, fuck it. Let's watch it. And then, um, Oh, you were cool for watching Naruto. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, Zach. <laughs> so I was like, "Fuck it, let's watch it." And then, um, and then I watched Death Note with them, and uh, Death Note's like one of my favorite anime of all time. Now I think that shit is fucking incredible, dude. That shit's so good. Um, I used to read manga this way, Chris. <laughs> what with like uh, YouTube video? I I used to read manga through YouTube. Is that a thing that anyone did as well? People would post just like it would be like a fucking Microsoft or Windows Movie Maker like a PowerPoint presentation of of like manga, and that that was how. Believe it or not, that's how I finished. Um, oh my god, you're gonna have to help me with this because I don't remember the Naruto lore. Do you remember? I I think it's Hashirama when he's fighting. I can't remember who he's fighting. It might be Madara and he summons like this idol that has like 10,000 hands and it's like fighting. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I read that through a YouTube video of with like fucking Evanescence in the background. That was how I experienced that. Uh, <laughs> Shenron. Yeah, it was, it was Omega Shenron. Naruto the goat. No way. Okay, Madara, M Madara, Madara, whatever. <laughs> at, at least listen. No, never mind. <laughs> uh, crosses all that shit. Yes, that is exactly what they did. So my Momonofu evolved now. Arahabaki. You think that'll be enough for Matador? Yes. Yeah. You should be good with that. Well, no, maybe not. Yeah. Yeah. You should be okay as long as he doesn't Magaru. You're fine. 
Uh, but I did watch videos of the next Xbox 720 or stupid shit with dude. That video is fucking legendary. That video is fucking legendary. Madara. Okay. Hop on Storm 4 and I'll make you say his name correct. Okay, dude. I'm getting on Steam right now. No, I'm, I'm not actually. <laughs> Easiest clickbait possible. I remember that shit. Yeah, dude. That video is fucking legendary. I think that guy is like a crazy businessman now, dude. Xbox 720. I'm pretty sure that video is still up. Yeah, future gen consoles. Wii 2, PS4, Xbox 720. <laughs> fucking legendary, dude. Do you guys remember... Excuse me. Do you guys remember the PS when the PS3 was coming out? The 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 beta controller for the PS3. Do you guys remember it? It was called the Boomerang. I don't know if you guys remember this. I remember when I was younger and I saw it and I was like, that's the coolest controller I've ever seen. And now as an adult, I'm like, thank God that's not, <laughs> thank God that is not the controller they went with. That shit is so fucking ugly and, and dumb as hell. But I actually want one because of that now. That was fucking stupid. If, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you. It looks like this. Th this was the original, the beta PS3 controller. It's called the boomerang. Th this, how do you hold that? Like a boomerang, bro. <laughs> this shit looks so bad, bro. This shit looks so bad. And also, I just realized, are these even sticks or are they like touch pads? That shit is weird. That shit is a weird ass fucking controller. I want the LSD the designer had when he made that. Yeah, legit. Wasn't this like 500 USD on launch too? I think it was more. I'm pretty sure the PS3's launch price was like, it might've been like 800 or some shit. I'm pretty sure it was like a lot. Oh, okay, never mind. It was, uh, it was 600. I was $200 off. <laughs> fucking, they're crazy, dude. They're crazy. Um, get, get this, get this $500 for the 20 gigabyte model, $600 for the 60 gigabyte model. Can you even imagine paying $600 for 60 gigabytes? Can you even imagine that bro? Holy, oh my God. Ain't no way anybody doing that homie. Like Jesus. But, okay, listen, I love my PS5, but I, I think it's kind of bullshit that it doesn't come with at least one terabyte of storage. Like, Jesus. Yikes, that is bad, bro. I, I think it's because at the time, they weren't expecting HD gaming to take up so much space, you know? Because, obviously, you know, PS2 games could fit on an 8 megabyte memory card, but they weren't expecting shit to go the way it did with, like, how big, dude, like HD gaming now, bro. I can't even believe some of these games file sizes. Like Jesus Christ. Some of these games are crazy, crazy big. Like I installed FF 15 to my steam deck uh, the other day. And I was like, where's my space? Where did it go? Like, this is crazy. According to BIS, the was a BLS, the PS3 base would be $735 in today's money. Ah, ah, that is terrible. <laughs> I uninstalled Overwatch and Call of Duty Cold War last night. Deadass freed up 300 gigs. That's what I'm saying, bro. Games at the time fit on 4 gigabyte discs. Now they have Blu-rays and discs of 50 gigabytes. It's like a quarter of the full game. Dude, I will never forget when I got Red Dead Redemption 2 and they fit the game across like three discs and you still had to download more data off of like the cloud. I was like, what? Like, that's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Game devs forgot what file compression is. I think you can only compress to a point because like now, you know, now we got like 4K textures and shit. Like it's, it's crazy. It is fucking crazy, man. I do think the Call of Duty stuff is insane. I do think that shit is insane. There's no way Call of Duty needs to take up that much space. Install it over three days. <laughs> if the PS5 Pro exists, we might get to relieve those expensive memories. Or relive those expensive memories. I don't even think I would buy a PS5 Pro. Not just because I'm broke, but like I cannot see any any reason that like we would need a PS5 Pro right now. Like every game that's come out for the PS5 runs at 60 FPS. Like in from what I've seen. So I, I don't really see any reason to go for like the route of a PS5 Pro. Um the biggest because they don't compress the audio like at all. 
Damn, bro. They going, they going full raw on that bitch. And how many people actually use 4K textures? So if it was up to me, Sergey, what I would do is I would like put an option where it's like, do you want to use 1080p textures or 4K textures? And then it'll download, you know, the the what you want to use. Because let's be honest, how many of you guys actually play games in 4K? Because I don't. I mean, I play them on a fucking Steam Deck in 720p. <laughs> I don't play games in 4K at all. Um, I, I don't like most people I know play games in 1080p. My monitor isn't even 1080p. You need to get the game running before launch. Everything can be fixed with free updates. Yeah, I think I think that's like a really bad uh part of the gaming right now. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, I've never seen 4K. 4K is beautiful, but like I I don't necessarily think it's like it's so much more okay. Maybe this makes me sound crazy, but like playing FF7, I played, uh, I did my hard mode playthrough of FF7 Remake in 4K on, on a 4K TV. And um, I played a little bit of FF7 Remake on my Steam Deck. And like, yes, it looked better on the TV, but like it wasn't so much better to where I was like, oh my God, like this is... <sighs> There's no other way to, 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 to video game. It must be on this 4K TV. I was totally okay with it in 720p on my Steam Deck. Like, it looked, it looked great. Um, and I'm going to play. Uh, uh, I want to play through the whole game in 720p on my Steam Deck. Because uh, I want to replay it before Rebirth comes out. By the way, oh my god, I cannot wait for Rebirth. These upscaled Persona 3 portable textures in 4K are very nice. Looks like shit. I feel like portable would look better on a portable device. The Steam Deck uh, being smaller helps hide the worst resolution too. Yeah, that's like a big thing. I feel like a lot of people forget the bigger you blow up an image, like you, you're going to have to really have something that can support uh, that you know large of an image. When you condense it, it looks really good. Like if you, cause think about it, right? 720p is like what this big. And then you condense it to a screen. That's like this big. It's going to look like 4k. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Because the, the pixels are so condensed. Um, and I feel like, cause I remember when the steam deck was coming out, there's a lot of people like, what the fuck? It doesn't at least have OLED. What the, it's not going to compete with the switch because it should have a 1080p screen. That's ridiculous. And I'm like, dude, your monitor is 1080p, right? Imagine if you shrunk that that the size of that down to like the Steam Deck screen size. Yeah, that would look godlike, but at that point you might as well use 720p. And that's what they did, and it looks totally fine. I don't know. Pixel density isn't as talked about as it should be. It, this is why Maladux is the GOAT. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's way more important than like having a fucking four it bro, if the Steam Deck had a 4K screen, nobody would buy it because it would cost an absurd amount of money. And it would not look that much better than how it looks right now. You see the difference between 60 and 90? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of with you on that. Like, 30 and 60 is a big difference. Um, I don't really see that much of a difference between 60 and 90. 60 and 120, I do start seeing a difference. But it's not so much to where I'm like, this is necessary. Um, I've even played in like, what is it, 144 FPS, and the only time I, I even really notice that is if I'm playing a first person shooter, otherwise it doesn't really bother me. Almost like it was meant for a portable device, yeah, exactly, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I play docked and I can see a lot of small things that make no sense. So much better. Only well, for competitive, yeah, pretty much. I've come to the point where I can barely stand playing a game at 60 FPS. I need 100. God, you're so fucking sexy. Uh, Pinoy, you stream early, bro. Not a bad thing, though. Yeah, I, I just try to follow, like, a specific schedule because of, like, you know, all the work that I got to do. Uh, excuse me. Here's how good something looks is the... Just start with the... So, via IPS and OLED. Yeah, that's, like, a big thing, too. Um... The, the type of screen you're using makes a big difference in how it looks. Um, yeah. But, um, okay. I, I, I'm stalling long enough. I want to watch these Resident Evil things, and then we're going to suffer in Tartarus. So, let me, uh... By the way, I'm in January on my second portable run. Oh, my God! You're making me feel like a fucking loser, bro. 
All right, let's watch Resident Evil and not play Persona. So Zafi can start a fourth run. <laughs> All right, so we, there's four trailers that I have not watched. So Nick, I hope you're here. Um, let's uh, let's start this shit. This this presentation was a while ago, so I've never seen any of this shit. I mean, I've played the game, so like I know the scenes, but I've never watched what they did. Oh my god, the fucking cult is way creepier. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? Hold up. Oh, never mind. I thought this was the fucking the the um what's it called? The emblem from from Village. I was like, whoa, what the fuck? I did get spoiled on one thing. Looking for him, someone? And it was that a specific line returned. Maybe a very important line. Some missing senorita? Oh my god, it's Luis. Let's say his name, right? Where are you? Your soul. Oh, it's that guy. Requires cleansing. Oh shit, dude, that's when it goes in his neck. Just let me go. Listen. Okay, Ashley. Oh my God, Leon the Ched. What is that? What do we do? I wonder if Ashley is gonna be as annoying as she is in the original. I'm gonna get you home safe. You can stop right there. What the fuck? Ada sounds different. Who are you? What are you doing here? My faithful disciple will show her the path. Oh my, El Gigante. Run! Oh my god, it's the fucking uh, fish! What's happening to me? <laughs> now, Damn, she killed that delivery. Your body. Leave the girl. She's lost no matter what. Oh my god, Ada sounds now so weird, bro. Did they change her voice actor? God, Leon is so sexy. <laughs> say, it, say Resident Evil, please. Resident Evil. They didn't say it! Lame. I'm canceling my pre-order. Okay, that was like a, a solid trailer. Oh my god, what the fuck? Why is this in like 240p? This shit looks like ass. How far can you go in a minute? Is, is there like a higher... This looks terrible. Is there a higher quality fucking thing of this? Hold on. I, the, the quality of this is awful. Resident Evil... What is this called? Remake Gameplay Showcase? Is it this? Okay, this one looks better, but it's not that much better. It's better though. Jesus, the uh, the density of like the foliage is. Oh, is this the cabin where the, the first guy is by the fire? Anyone home? I really hope that Leon is still like says so much of like the stupid shit that he used to in the original. Okay, yeah, this is that place. Dude, this game is... If this game isn't up for game of the year, like, there's no way it's not. Right? This shit looks so godlike. For perspective, I think Resident Evil 4 is like a masterpiece and one of the greatest things in gaming history. Like, Resident Evil 4 is so good. <laughs> Situation. <laughs> They're speaking Spanish and Leon's just. <laughs> I read you. Is this is this new? I don't remember this in the original. I'm not gonna lie. 
To be fair, I haven't played the original since high school, so it's been over 10 years. So ugly. Can you, can you still do the fucking roundhouse kick? Suplex him, Lee Gong. Suplex him. I swear to God, if Leon doesn't suplex a zombie, I'm canceling my pre-order. Bruce, this is Condor One. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? Oh my God, it's Hunnigan. Bro, I had such a crush on Hunnigan when I was when I was uh, young. It's like, oh my God, please keep talking to me. Correct then. Well done. Something's happened to people here. My escorts are. It'd be nice if they kept the weird like HUD screen from the original. Gotta go. Talk later. I I don't remember this scene though. I need to replay the original, bro. I don't remember that scene at all. Unless that's just new. Okay. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm getting nostalgia. Oh my god. He did it. Let's fucking go, baby. Now you got to suplex them, Leon. Bill me for the repairs later. <laughs> Leon is the best, bro. He always says the dumbest shit. Oh my god, this looks raw, dude. Holy fuck. This is gonna give me a heart attack when I play this. <laughs> Roundhouse kick. <laughs> Leon is just fucking this is like why all right I have to pause this 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 part of Resident Evil 4 is one of the best intro sequences to any video game because like when they throw you into this village which is why it's so good that like it immediately transitions to the Resident Evil 4 uh like title screen this whole sequence is one of the best ways to get the v the the player to feel anxious um, as fuck like this entire scene is extremely like hectic. It's so hectic um, And then when the bell finally sounds it's it's like relief, bro. It's it's oh god this this, this game is so good. This game is so good Oh my god that bro That would have been me yo the chickens What the fuck, bro? That guy looks terrifying. Did he always have eyes? I don't remember him having eyes. Okay, we're gutting him. No! No way! This is why Leon is the goat. What the fuck? Holy shit! Bro held back a chainsaw with his knife! Holy fuck, that was awesome. Oh my god. Holy shit. What the fuck? Hello, Hirofumi Naka Nakaoka? Yeah. True? Characters are goaded. レオンとたちアシュリーだったりっていうその魅力的なキャラクターがたくさんいるっていうのがまあとても大事なところでもあるしプラスえ世界観で言ったらとてもこのシチュエーションが多いんですよね村とかですごく insane bro。シチュエー
、まあ、そこの幅を減らさずに進めていきたいなとあの同じような絵にならないようにちゃんとそれぞれのキャラクターを魅力を出してあげたいなっていうのは最初に思ってました、まあ、もちろん、あのー、一番好きなのはレオンですね yeah, who doesn't, bro? Leon is the goat. 自分のオリジナルを普通に学生の時に You know what's so crazy about that? I feel like so many of like the developers nowadays are like that are working on these series are people who grew up playing them and now they're working on them. I feel like for this guy, this must be like a dream come true, bro. Nah, I, nah that's so crazy. かなーっていうのを考えてでまあいろいろあのデザインの段階でいろいろ書いたんですよねあのディレクターとかと話してる時になんかなんでしょうねもっとムキムキにしたりとか二メートルでかくしたりとかなんか長いコートを着せたりして、まあ、ロングコートでビフォーネチェーンソーを書いてみたんですけどなんか I mean they they pretty much kept to like the classic look I could be wrong but he pretty much looks exactly the same to me 改めて原作やったりとかまあチェーンソー自体をちゃんと見てたらチェーンソーの魅力ってやっぱりなんか,なんですか、ね、普通なんですよ。普通の人が麻袋をかぶってチェーンソーを持ってるっていうのがやっぱホラーなんですよ。これが怖い。これが意外とやっぱムキムキだったりとかクリーチャーなやつがチェーンソーを持っててもそれはもう化け物なんですよね。怖くないんですよ。あくまで普通に理性のありそうな人間がチェーンソー、麻袋を持ってかぶ,かぶって。This is making me think of like、uh, the philosophy behind some Silent Hill stuff. Interesting. Man, they, they really like showing the scene of him parrying a chainsaw with a knife. Okay, so the, the eyes are new. Because I swear he just wore a fucking rucksack over his head. No, if you'd shut up, he'd be good to go. Bro, Leon's voice actor is killing it. He sounds like such a Chad. Bro, that was sick! So he can just parry with his knife now? God, I hate those fucking parasites, though, dude. I remember the first time I, I shot a parasite in the head. And then the fucking thing came out, and I was like, what the fuck? Made me believe that fucking headshots are not a good thing. What the hell is that? Oh, okay, I was about to say, what the hell is that? Koitsu-no-dekita-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-ma-
とかの,その敵のちょっと宗教的なホラーのモチーフをもう一つっていう話があったんで、まあ、そういうところで、まあ、そういうのを入れるのはどうだろう I wonder how many new characters they made. 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 なっちゃうと思うんですけど、うちの場合はどっちかというと、right. 牛の死体の頭をかぶらされてる、もしくはあの意図的にかぶってる狂人っていうふうに作ろうかなあ、作ろうとはしてますね。That's disgusting. 実はあの一緒に戦っててもあの、プレイヤーの方を。Oh, that's cool. So it's just like, that's, that's kind of sick. Just flopping back. That's cool. I like that. プレイヤーを見てない。それはなぜかつら死体の頭をかぶってるから。That's a nice detail. っていうのを結構大事にして作ってますね。あくまでミノタウロスにしちゃうとファンタジーになるけど、バイオハザードでの解釈は、やっぱこれは牛の死体をかぶってる。おかしい人だ。で、ウイルスで強くなっているっていうところのは大事にしてるっていう感じですね。はい、That's a great idea. I like that. To keep up with all of our coverage, bookmark gameinformer.com. Okay, and then this is the last thing they put out. This is a, this is a beefy one. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to Game Informer. I'm your host, Alex. Dude, look at how sexy he looks, man. I can't get over this. Jesus. That we have from Resident Evil 4 Remake, Chapter 5. We're going to be seeing. Some church gameplay. I, you know, gameplay, honestly, out of everything, um, with I know I said Resident Evil 4 is a masterpiece, well as, uh, but if there's one thing that is annoying in Resident Evil 4, it is Ashley. I don't mind her character, so it's just taking care of her that's fucking annoying. So I'm I'm curious on how they handled her. Marcus Stewart. How are you, Marcus? I'm feeling great. I'm happy to be seeing this section again because, as I mentioned in the cover story I wrote, I had a lot of fun. Oh my god, wait. Absolutely. Fuck, this is like. So yeah, we Almost are, the middle of the game. But it starts out, and we are, uh, you know. I I liked her. Yeah, I didn't. I don't have a problem with Ashley's character. I thought she was a good character. I just didn't like the gameplay side of it because, if you've never played Resident Evil Four, you basically uh babysit Ashley. She's like um. Yeah. You're gonna hear a lot of Leon, help! <laughs> this is literally after you get Ashley. Is it? Bro, I swear this is like almost the middle of the game. Yes. Yes, uh, we Am I crazy? Bro, I need to replay Resident Evil 4. Important disclaimer, Capcom did help out with accommodations for travel. So that means like flight. Guy's hair is amazing. Dude, for real. This is not the castle. Oh. Bosses that handle all that, we kind of just show up and do our job, but it is an important disclaimer. Bro, the rain looks so good. Oh, you're right. This isn't the Okay, never mind. So this is how they they did the okay. That's not bad. It kind of reminds me of Dead Space, but um, <laughs> Leon just casually giga chad walking. Ashley's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for getting in your way, Leon. Whoa. Yeah, you can kind of move around while it's happening. Did the original have a map? I don't remember the original having a map. Resident Evil 4 experts, correct me. It did? Well, yeah, at the end of the beginning, you saw uh, Leon and Ashley sort of just talking about. God damn, I need to play it again. Uh, fun fact, you know, without spoiling, there's a little extra area in that uh, upper deck that you can find if you don't want to just beeline it straight for that ladder. Uh, so, you know, keep an eye out up there. I, I found it on my playthrough. Uh, so, yeah, we are making our way through here. Leon being a gentleman, moving that out of the way. Bro, I've been lied to. I thought I was going to hear the bingo line. I'm sad. No, you won't. And yeah, this part was um, 
pretty fun to get through. I tried to get through it stealthily the first couple times. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, yeah, they still have the fucking... Okay. <laughs> Their attention seems really split between Leon and Ashley. So you're going to notice um, there's going to be a few jumps uh, in the clips here. Again, that's a Capcom thing. So this, is, this isn't going to be a straight run through of the chapter. It's going to jump around at points. <laughs> um, Flashbanged <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> Tentacle transformed Ganado. As we uh, enter the cemetery, you get a little bit of a, a little bit of a taste of one of the side quests, which is sort of a spin on the cemetery puzzle. As you can see, you can still shoot birds' nests, get those uh, precious eggs, or I guess a chicken egg that's in a bird nest. So Nick was telling me about the side quest stuff. <laughs> there were no side quests in the original. Uh, you know how it is, but I mean, in the original game, you killed snakes and got chicken eggs, which was always kind of weird. There oh my is. god, I need to hear his voice. Well done. I can barely hear him. So you can see you're turning in side quests. Oh. Which is what you're going to be new. doing. Got something new for you. The goat. One has to wonder how he uh, moves with all that heavy equipment in that coat. <laughs> you know, must be pretty strong. He like needs to open his coat. Open the coat. Piccolo. Weighted training gear, he's probably pretty strong. But, uh, I was thinking he's just like in the crossfit. Yo, Koja, thank you for the 19 you know, months, brother. What are you buying? Mysterious figure, as you see, we're upgrading our. Oh my god, he does. Uh, oh, I love it. It's mentioned in the cover story, which is nice, which you're going to be needing because they're, uh, they have limited durability. Playing Mod PT Fest right now, I don't even need a remake, to be honest. That's quite a bit for the new pair of <laughs> You can see there's another oh yeah okay nice yeah right there's a lot of really good mods for it. the environment for those blue flyers uh, i'm sorry by the way chat i'll, I'll catch up as soon as i finish watching this one of the more involved i just really want to see this stuff so absolutely and you won't see the solution um in this footage but you will see um sort of what's on the other end of the side quest for you yeah um the dog is hard to find we, we are going to show the dog um but the way to find the dog is I really hope um, th there's an Easter egg in Resident Evil 4 at the beginning. Note, wow, look at the way that fucking thing is flowing in the door. wind. That's there's incredible. Dude, this looks right next gen as fuck. I'm not even gonna lie. This is so that, fucking like, sexy. A well Dude, the village, Nick, so if you're here, can you clarify with me? Um, when yeah, you like knock enemies down in this game, do you just one shot them with a knife? It's the only way to go, but yeah. Uh, it looks like he's doing that. In the original, uh, when you out. knock them down, like, oh, you have to like, eh, 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 like a hundred yeah. times until they die. Uh, night. Seems like it. Okay. The lady Interesting. She could uh, take a pitchfork to Leon. Didn't work that out. Clouds hair. <laughs> and, uh, I I I, mm -hmm. uh, I was gonna just comment on the rain. I know that there's a lot of talk about. Yeah, no, no, it looks weird as fuck in the original. I don't, like, particularly need it. I'm just curious, because it looks like you just one-shot them if they are grounded. It does feel, like, intentionally, like, it is intentionally obfuscating the environment um, and kind of adds to that that tension, like, you can't see what you're shooting. I do agree, though, it's it's a bit much. Um, and you know what would be great, Marcus, if there's, like, a, a rain Dude, me too, Archive. <laughs> or M, sorry. I'm kidding. And you remember, uh, yeah. what do you call it? To call you M. So I just want a nice little downpour. As you can see, uh, I love the lighting in this game. You know, like it just. I want uh, Leon to spread my legs and play bingo. The, uh, the, the flashlight and just how dark mm. everything is. Like it just makes, um, especially like interiors like this, as you lift Ashley up to do her, uh, do her thing, get Leon up there. Yeah, it just makes the interiors creepier. Like that, like the first time that owl made me jump. I was just about to say that owl, the, dark, yeah. the, the owl placement there was fantastic. There, there, was I great. will say there, there were a couple times when I was playing the demo where I was kind of in a very dark environment and Leon wasn't pulling up his flashlight, which is kind of frustrating. So I'm just kind of like clambering around. What the fuck the does that even mean? Like he spreads oh, my legs and then he starts the playing dog. bingo. Oh my we God. So like no, a, they look so much yeah. worse in like a good so, yeah, way. Uh, but like, Capcom what the fuck? Out, 
for those Ew, wondering, that bro. This dog is not the dog that Leon can rescue in the original game because well, yeah, game no, the dog's in the beginning of the game. Presumably dead. Uh, so you know, at the time we kind of were like, oh. Maybe yes, I was gonna say uh, in the original Resident Evil Four. If you guys know, there's a game called Haunting Ground that's also made by Capcom. Great game, by the way. Um, yeah, that, uh, they it was made around the same time as Resident Evil 4, and there's an Easter egg for that game in Resident Evil 4, where the dog from that game, you actually run into it at the start of Resident Evil 4, and it can come back and help you fight El, El Gigante. It's fucking sick. Um, so you see a blue medallion up there as Leon. You know what? I've never done this. I've played Resident Evil 4 like two or three times. I've never collected all the blue medallions. the same area, and they said that, um, that side quest reappears in different parts of the map so you're going to be shooting it sounds like you're going to be shooting medallions outside of just like the village area um and they just sort of like divide them into like batches of five oh my god he's such a chad <laughs> hey i see you found your missing senorita fucking luis Uh, and due to the cuts, um, there is a lot of that village before the the bridge that we ran over. That oh, you I can, cannot you wait know, for this fucking game, bro. I cannot fucking wait for this game. They didn't show in this footage. Um, it's where, at least during our play. Before the last of the vi Oh yeah, no, I, I saw you earlier, Kazuki. Kazuki. Right. Yeah, Kazuki. In that area just before. Thank the you, brother. Bridge that we crossed. Wait, what? That dog yeah, was from another Capcom game? Damn it. Yeah, it did not sell very well, but how, uh, do not let that shows up cloud your judgment. But you yeah. Haunting Ground is uh, one of the most unique well survival this. horror games so, ever yeah, made, so when he shows up and it's amazing to me that Capcom did both that and Resident Evil 4 around the same time. Haunting Ground is really cool. I suggest you look up a video on it. It's extra tense because it's like, oh my god, I gotta fight this guy now. Yo, what's up, Lotus? Yeah, so. I saw some people speculating that he might be a single persistent. Didn't we see this? Yeah, this was part of one of the trailers. This is like a gameplay walkthrough. I have been type. I have killed him several times in different areas. Just the new enemy type. So this fight was uh, pretty wild, as it is in the original, but even more so here. And there he is, Mr. Bullman. There's been a lot of like back and forth. Like, is he a cow? Is he a bull? But I was like, he's got a horn there. That'd be a bull thing. Well, a bull is just a cow. It's a male cow. I mean, yeah, they're the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, these but, you these know, people like, who did the, the, the gameplay yeah, commentary for this there, are having a good time. <laughs> oh my god, he got fucking mauled. Oh, hey, I just realized and, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the, the in the, the inventory menu, it's uh, just as um, like the guns actually so show up as physical so models, like in the original. That's cool. It's not like Village, where it's... um. Like a PNG. Value. Of course, if you different combinations. Of I don't gems, even remember this puzzle. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Bonuses. I don't think I remember any puzzle. Uh, there are now customized cases that have different bonuses. So, like the black case uh, has an increased drop rate for L resources. What the uh, fuck? Yeah. You, you can you can pick up charms as well, a little chicken charm. The charms huh? In the cases they they give you little, little passive bonuses. Yeah, and you can uh, do that stuff. And no, nah, this is goaded. You, so you can't do that all the time. Just when you that's know, amazing. Those, uh, Holy, that's I love this. That's so good. Oh my god. Keep up with all of our coverage. Bookmark GameInformer. This game is gonna be so good, bro. If this game is not up for Game of the Year, like, there's just no way, man. There's just no way. Fuck, Resident Evil Four looks amazing, bro. It looks so good. Um, they got physics right. Okay, is it just me or has uh, Bomber Cyberfunk gone completely silent? Um, they put updates out like every few months on their Steam page. Um, but like I wouldn't, I wouldn't like you know, get up in arms about it. They're, they're an indie indie studio. Like it'll come out when it comes out. I'm expecting it to be amazing. They can take as long as they want. Uh, there's so many other games coming out this year. Like I'll be occupied, you know. Does the 4 ain't winning? Well, it's, it's not gonna win. But it's, if it's not up for Game of the Year, I'll be surprised. It's the winner is going to be Zelda or FF 16. One of those two. Um, uh, I'm like catching up on chat.
Nintendo might slow down this year and bank on Pokemon DLC for this holiday. I could see that. FE4 remake coming this year. Excuse me. I think it'll be next year. Whole eat a piss ball. Don't be me. Don't be me, Maladux. Is this the anime parasite? I'm getting to the point where I have played enough franchises where there's a time I'm not looking forward to a fairly soon big release. Yeah, I'm the I'm the same way, right? Like, there's so many big games coming out that I can't wait to play. But like, I have so many other games I'm trying to get through that it's like I'm excited, but like, you know, I'm I know I'm not going to be playing it almost immediately, right? Like, I didn't start God of War until like three or four months after it came out. Um. RE2 and 3 go on sale. Yeah, they, they go on sale for pretty cheap. Street Fighter 6 is like... I think Street Fighter 6 is like the same month as Final Fantasy 16. Like... That's crazy to me. Prophecies. I forgot how many games I was looking forward to this year. Oh, I have kept that shit on my mind perma, bro. For me, there's like almost... Every single month, there's a game that I want to play. Almost every single month. I, this month, it's Octopath Traveler 2. Like, I, like, oh, there's so many games coming out this year, dude. There's so many good games coming out. Yeah, Diablo 4 is, is like, dude, I'm telling you, man. There's so many big games coming out. It's crazy. But, um, all right. I'm going to plug my controller in, and we're going to uh, suffer in Tartarus. So, I'll chat to you guys. If you guys don't know what I've been doing in Persona 3... Um, don't worry about it because as the title and the thumbnail uh, show, I'm literally just grinding. Um, the plan is to get a high enough level to where I can do something. I don't even. What was I doing, Chad? I, I, I'm, I'm I'm trying to recap it for you guys, and I don't even remember what I'm supposed to be doing. I know I'm trying to fight the Reaper, but there was something else I was trying to do as well. I don't remember what it was. Fire Emblem Engage Dead Space, Octopath 2, RE4, Zelda, Persona 3 Remake, Fire Emblem 4 Remake, Trust. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just looked up Haunting Ground. Why did I miss this gem? This is right up my alley. Thanks for the recommendation. Oh, dude, no problem, bro. That game is sick. I mean, getting a physical copy is impossible, so just emulate it. The controls are like, you know, it's old, but like, if you can get past it, bro, that game is godlike. Like, if you hated Ashley, you will love the dog. <laughs> the dog is goaded. Oh, Silk Song! Yeah, dude, I still need to play Hollow Knight. Like, fuck, it is bad, bro. All right, this might break your ears, chat. Okay, never mind. I don't know why, but I got so scared when I swapped my scene because I thought there was going to be a giant penis on the screen, but thank God there isn't. How long would it take me to beat Hollow Knight, chat? <laughs> Top three Resident Evil? Um... Resident Evil 2 Remake at number 1, Resident Evil 4 at 2, and Resident Evil 1 Remake at 3. Yeah. And why would there be a giant penis? I don't know why. I don't have, like, dicks on my PC, but, like, I've been conditioned by my friends and my sibling that they like leave dicks on my screen all the time whenever I'm not on my PC. So I'm always afraid that there's gonna be like a fucking surprise penis out of nowhere. Um, even like when I, like for example, I don't like looking at videos I upload on other people's channels because I'm like, oh God, there's gonna be a penis in the video. There's not, but like, I'm always like, fuck, there's gonna be a dick in it. It just, I don't know, man. Like, it's just what happens. Am I tired? I'm great. Where the fuck is my team? What? Hello? Where did they go? What the fuck happened last stream? Giant Mara in the screen. Yeah, Elizabeth will, will uh, love that. I think they're all tired. Oh my god. Okay. And then... Wasn't I trying to fuse something? God, I don't remember what the fuck we were doing, bro. 
Is this the modded one? Yeah. Hellel. Okay, that's what I was doing. I was trying to get Hellel so I could cast Armageddon, right? And Hellel requires what level? I don't fucking remember, bro. How much pain am I going to get looking this up? Persona 3 Fez Fusion Calculator. LL. 88? I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. What? Oh my lord almighty. What the fuck? Lucifer, save me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> By the act of Yahweh, get me out. This is unreal, bro. Oh my god. Return to the dorm. This is why I'll never play a story game like this on stream. <laughs> I don't have to do this. I could just finish the game right now. The only reason I'm like pushing against it is because I've never beaten the Reaper in Persona 3 and I have never been to Monad in this game. So I, I have to do it because I've never done it before. But like, Jesus Christ, this is like, yo, can we remake this game so that like, it's not like this, like Jesus Christ. I was saying this last stream, but something that I wish uh, they had in this game is that thing in Persona 5 Royal, where if you max the the twins, you, you get a perk that lets you buy personas that are above your level. Like it costs a lot of money, but you can make personas above your level. I would like to do that right now, but I can't. I'll stream a zombies run you can put. <laughs> I'll just host you, dude. They have a link for this mod. Which one? Oh, okay, never mind. Hello, shampoo. I don't know, man. I'll talk to you later, bro. Put my uh, Dead Space gameplay on stream. Bro, stream Dead Space so I can watch you play Dead Space after I stream. Wait, what the fuck is your name in this shampoo? So when we started playing Persona 3 on stream, it was when I told everybody about a story about me and shampoo. And when I asked chat what to name myself, they were all like, oh, you're going to name yourself shampoo. <laughs> fuck off, chat. Fuck off. Oh my god. Now next time I play a fuck Persona 6, my name is gonna be fucking Chris Pones you. I'm gonna fucking Persona 3, bro. I'm gonna fucking Persona 3. I refuse to play with that as my name. I refuse. I am not doing that. I refuse. Fuck that, dude. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell no, bro. Oh my god. You make a sound like clown. <laughs> They don't know about this shoe. <laughs> oh my fuck. Yeah, let's go chill Mitsuru. Me and baby girl. Sorry. Your first name will be Chris Ponzi and your last name will be a single dot. Oh, I hate my life. Why don't the fact that you guys spell Chris Ponzi or Pones in the like the exact way hurts my soul. It hurts my soul. We only have a short time to be together like this. Soon we'll be looking back nostalgically on this times. Um, uh, you going to college? I haven't decided yet. Since my father passed away, I've been faced with many difficult problems. My inheritance, the future of Carrijo, and the expectations of everyone around, involved with both. Most likely, I won't be able to attend college or begin a profession. I will have to find another path. Siri looks unusually timid. Say, Shampoo, what are your thoughts on marriage? It's based on compromise. It's a social agreement. It's the result of love. You're so straightforward. However, I'm a Carijo. I cannot simply make a decision according to my emotions. An agreement between two parties such as marriage must be carefully considered. My parents' marriage was arranged for strategic reasons, but as time passed, I slowly grew to love each other. I don't consider them unfortunate. Love comes in all different forms. Do you disagree? 
What? Who? Who does that? What? The, if you played this game and you picked this option, you have a problem, homie. The, the, bro, Mitsuru just like told us her fucking parents' backstory, and then she's like, "So, do you do you agree with this manner of thought? Uh, do you have a boyfriend? Who the fuck? No." What? If I could, I should have said it. If I could speak with my father one last time, I would ask him. Mitsuru seems sad. Now's the right time. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> I can't believe the library is closing and we're still here. Talking in the library, I'm not setting a very good example as student council president. We should go. Thank you for speaking with me. Release the safe to say it. This is depressing. Meanwhile, Twitch chat, Chris pones you. Yeah, pretty much. Oh my God, bro. Ugh. That sounds so bad. Chris pones you, Chun. We have to go. It's disgusting. I hate it. What is a terra flat and nothing being allowed to have uh, uh, happy characters? What do you mean, bro? Harley Quinn, the goat. Dun, dun. Like my beatboxing. Yo, what's up? Oh, that's so cute. Hold on, Chris Pones, you now recall me. It's no, it's not perfect. <laughs> I have a terminal illness reading that. Chris Pones, you. I love you. <laughs> What do we do? Chris Pones, you can you come to my room later? I hate it. I hate it. Oh my god. I I do not want to live to see that day. Fuck no, dude. Oh, this, this is the problem with like getting on the internet young and like not knowing anything, bro. Jesus Christ, you fuck yourself. This is bad. Oh, I should have checked if uh, the the other characters are not tired yet. Oh my god, how am I gonna get eighty eight levels, bro? Dun 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 dun. dun. What, what even am I? Eighty two, twenty six. It's doomed. Uh, excuse me. I maxed Mamoru, right? The problem is that you brought it up. <laughs> I'm gonna make my name Andy Bones you when he's <laughs> Oh no. I really thought we could be friends, Chris Bones you. Carry on my Shut the fuck. Change your Twitch name to Chris Bones you. Thoughts? Yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah. I've not seen a kitty cat, Miss Cat Lady. She's a precious little white. Spotted cat named Muley. She slipped away when I wasn't looking. I'm so worried about where she could have gone. She's almost as old as I am, so I doubt she could have gotten very far. A white spotted cat. Did you see one? Uh, I think I did. My stars, really? Whereabouts might this have been? Uh, the station? Thank you, dear. Thank you. I'll go look for her. I hope I didn't just lie to this old lady. A white spotted cat named Muley. If you don't mind, could we help her look? It seems the old lady will suffer greatly if they remain separated for much longer. But I don't wanna. Hmm, what's the phrase usually used in situations like these? What goes around comes around to hit you in the back of the head. I don't think that's it, bro. She could be so hungry by now that her stomach and spine are only a minute away. What? Or is that an instant away? What are you talking about, I guess? What? Change the birth certificate and said, yeah, this is my son. Chris pones you. That's what you can stream on Patreon. You. 
Oh my god. I mean that that's the plan. I is to stream Euphoria on Patreon. It's just I. Ugh. You know what? Would be cursed. I play Euphoria and name myself Chris Pones in Euphoria. I can sense hostile reactions to shadows, but this I'm useless, aren't I? Uh, I'm sorry. I was the one who began this research. So what kind of Euphoria? YouTube allow well okay I wouldn't be able to do the the patreon stream through YouTube it would have to be through discord but yeah I'll, I'm not looking forward to when that happens I will do it I will do it everything I say like will come to fruition I just don't know when what if I name my son Chris and make his middle name P and his second middle name owns you if you want to ruin his future then like <laughs> by all means Chris, Chris P. Owns Johnston. I like it. It's not working out after all. How could a machine like myself have feelings like a normal person? Share your screen so we can join. Like, most streams will be... I'll do, like, unlisted links through, you know, YouTube and shit like that for Patreon. But Euphoria... I don't... I've never played Euphoria. I've never watched Euphoria. But from what I know of it... There's no way I could stream it through YouTube. I would have to do it through Discord. You'll be a great person. <laughs> true, true. He has to suffer. He needs to get bullied. <laughs> and then he'll be a better person. He'll be a stronger man than you. A stronger man than I. I can still max her before this shit ends, right? Da -da -da, ba -ba -da -ba. I think I will. I hope. Euphoria will change you, man. I mean, I've seen some pretty fucked up shit. Sup, dude. But to be honest, like, the more time passes, the harder it is for me to stomach that fucking gross ass shit. Oh my god, somebody's tired? Useless. Da -da 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 -da. I think you can miss I guess like twice and still max her. To be honest, I might not even watch. Don't want to go. <laughs> I don't blame you. Name yourself Chris Bones. He's more fucked up. To be honest, dude, I want to go back in time and fucking kick myself. Shut up, Kaz. I'm not talking to you. I would take the names. I'm not naming myself Chris Pones you. Who the fuck made an account named Chris Pones you and followed me? Delete your account. Delete your account. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to ask so suddenly, but can you come with me? There's something we need to discuss. What do we need to discuss? Uh, you want all of us or just him? Just him for now. Come with me to the student council room. This is the one time outside of like when I get hosted that the 10 minute follower thing before you can type is a major benefit. Isn't it Actually pwned. Shut up. <laughs> Oh my Probably god. Some big important student council business. Nah. I fucking hate this. Maybe so, but Senpai was acting a little weird. She had that look she gets when she's keeping some terrible secret. Ah, you worry too much. Well, if the high muckety mucks don't need us, might as well go home. Hey, wait a second, Junpei. According to the seating chart, if he's not here, you have to clean up for him. Have fun sweeping the hallway. What? Where Poor Junpei. Bro got from? fucked. I'll be grinding FF10 besides you? Bro, that game is goaded. I missed out. Anima. Inject is kicking my There's ass on the second phase. Uh, glad I saved for the point of no return. Smart. Who was with Strega? 
I don't mean to alarm you, but I've never actually gotten anima before. I should is, do that. And I always fail on you, Jimbo. She may wake up today. I know what you're going to say, and yes, we did see her die in front of our eyes. However, her body began to undergo transmogrification a few days after the incident. For the past few weeks, she's been in a state that is neither living nor dead. Bro, I forgot about this. What the fuck? Jim was a trick. Yeah, he kicked my ass like so hard. I tried like a hundred times. I was like, I give up. But that's mere speculation. But what I wanted to talk to you about is your opinion on how to break the news to Yuri. You see, she's probably. Mitsuru here. I see. Yes, I understand. That was the hospital. They say she's just awakened. It's unbelievable. But although we had confirmed her death, it seems Chidori has come back to life. Iori? Did I hear that right? Chidori is... <gasps> How did he hear that, bro? Is this a joke? Some kind of trick? No. It's not a joke or a trick. She is currently recovering in the same hospital as before. But, Iori, she probably... Chidori... Chidori's... alive? <laughs> I don't remember this. Why don't I remember this? Uh, hey, Junpei, what about your cleanup duty? Jeez, what's gotten into him? Well, I guess it's a moot point now. But... Perhaps it's best that he found out this way. I think I'll head to the hospital after this, too. Could I ask you to come along? Is this Fez only? But I played Fez. It's optional? Is this what you get for checking on Junpei? I, I, I'm pretty sure I did that before. There's no way I didn't. You took off that fast, and you still haven't gone inside? Well... Did I not do this before? I mean, it's kind of... We'll wait outside. It wouldn't be good for all of us to storm in. I agree. Iori? Am I actually seeing content I've never seen before? I swear, I... I huh? This is like... Her damaged endocrine system and other internal organs have completely healed. She's still weak, but there's no more danger of her dying in two years. Is it really you, Chidori? I'm not dreaming, am I? Dreaming? <laughs> it's true. It is you, Chidori. Who are you? <laughs> oh my god. You just got fucking Dono walled. I thought as much. Transmogrification is the proof that one lacks potential. I suspected that this might be the case. This is Mitsuru-san and Junpei-kun. They were your friends last year. Friends? My name is Chidori Yoshino. I'm sorry, it hasn't quite hit me yet. But it seems I don't remember any of the past few years. It's as if I was dreaming for a very long time. Chidori, Yoshino. It seems all of her memories after she awakened to her persona are gone. She remembers everything that happened before then. But as for you all... How does this nurse know about personas? Is this one of the Karijo groups? Like, doctors? This has to be like one of the Karijo groups nurses. There's no way. It's better for her that she doesn't remember. I need to rewatch this scene. All that stuff about <laughs> fighting and, and pills. When you're having a nightmare, it ain't a bad thing to wake up. I didn't say it was a nightmare. Don't put words in my mouth. 
It was a dream of meeting a kind, warm person at the end of a long tunnel. I can't remember it clearly, but I wanted him to be happy. And oh, I, that's so sweet. I think there were flowers. A room filled with them. Ugh. Chidori, take it easy. You don't have to force yourself to remember. Flowers in a room. If she remembers that part clearly, then maybe... Do you remember when she'd use her power from time to time to make flowers bloom again? She'd always do it for the flowers in her room on the days when Junpei-kun would come. Any flowers she touched would be mysteriously preserved. That's why I kept them all for research purposes. But after the autopsy, I put them all on her chest as a tribute. And thinking back on it... It may have been that night. What? That she Dude, this nurse is the life. goat. What the fuck? The power to share one's life with others. Could it be that she reclaimed the life energy she'd given to those flowers? Well, I can't prove any of it. But compared to how she was before, she's changed. The loss of her power is part of it, but more than that. Excuse me, are you talking about me? We were talking about how you want to live now. Huh? What do you mean by that? Of course I want to live. I have to find the person in my dream someday. I can't lie in this bed forever. Yo, I got news for you. He's right Supposing there. you do find him and meet him, what then? That's... <sighs> That's none of your business. Chidori. Two hearts reunited. It's a miracle. No, it's a victory. <laughs> Chidori. H hey, why are you crying? I, I, I can't help it. Oh, this guy. <laughs> I'm this, so happy for him. This is seriously the happiest moment of my life. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't get it. <laughs> Bro, the the scene uh that Junpei's voice actor like he really brings it in the scene when Chidori dies. Like he really brings it. It's like really good. Accepted. <laughs> This game is amazing. <laughs> Holy shit. Sup, dude? Where you at, Junpei? How you feeling, King? I can see why uh, that would bother people. Like the whole, oh, this is like ruins his character development or whatever. I can see that. Um... I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just a big softy, but listen, let my man get a W, all right? I'm okay with it. Let my man get a W. Oh my God. Somebody still feels like shit. <laughs> Wanna dance, put you in the train. <laughs> I mean, she's different. Did you tell me she wasn't buried at this point? Yeah, I mean, based off of what the nurse said, right? This is like killing logic, right? The nurse, hello, this is BB. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, killing logic. It seems like the nurse. Okay, so because throughout the game, she was making flowers for Junpei with her persona, right? And those flowers had the essence of her life because that's what her persona does, right? Persona grants life. Um, then the nurse puts the flowers onto her body as like a, um, you know, because she's dead. Puts the flowers on the body and then anime happens and her life force returns from the flowers into her body, granting her life again. Um, I, I see the logic that they're going with. So it, it doesn't like not make sense. Um, but I can forego the details. Let my man get a W. That's what matters to me.
roar. Can somebody ban Chris Pones you, please? I'm sorry, BB, I'm busy. Fair enough. Uh, believe me, like it, it's I, I I get where you're coming from. I don't even think you're wrong per se, because like she well actually, how long does it take for? I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> I was gonna look up how long it takes for a body to decompose and then check when Chidori died. Uh, I'm too lazy for that, man. I wish I could VIP people. You're so fucking ugly. <laughs> I hate you. Our career counseling is next week, right? Are you planning to go to a university, Yumi? Yep, I'm going to school overseas. Over. This is the first I've heard about this. Uh, I'm your boyfriend. You'll have to tell me the, uh, this stuff. First bell is wrong. FBI question. Dude. Oh my! I, I wasn't even thinking about that, dude. I literally wasn't even thinking about that. Maybe so, but I like the, uh, this alternate alternative event better. Getting a reward for all the suffering is nice to see. It also makes complete sense. Uh, it's not as if it's out of left field. The process for decomposition begins around 40 hours when I was taken. Maybe off though. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Like this game is depressing enough. You know, I'm all right with it. I'm worried about muling. She'll be fine. <laughs> I remember a criminal that got yeah yeah I think I've seen that before. Chillax Broski, why are you why are you doing this? Who is that? Who is that? It's been restless out there lately. Have you seen all those flyers at the station? But none of that stuff has any credibility. There's no certain certainty in what they say. That's right. It's a matter of probability. Hey, don't give me those looks. The end of the world. Let's discuss this with respect to probability. Oh no, it's 2012 all over again. Oh, I can just go to sleep. Were you guys afraid of 2012? You guys like, oh my god, it's I'm gonna die. Ah! Was it? <laughs> Did you do that? I was eight. I was like 13 or something. I was in school and the time hit. No, dude, I was I was like 12 or 13 and and my dad was convinced and he would do I was so fucking terrified, bro. He was like, listen, my brother or my, my son, we will die and I do not love you or care about you. So I'm leaving. And that was like the last I ever saw my dad. Um, Not really, but it, pretty much. And then uh, and then I was like watching the time go down. I was like, oh, shit. Something bad gonna happen. Your dad was the Terminator. <laughs> I mean, he actually does sound like that. I'm not even kidding. He actually does sound like that. No joke. Like Christian, my son. That's legit. I will teach you the saxophone. Initially, yes, it was ten back then. Saw it in the news and shit. Yeah, I was terrified, bro. Shinjiro having the option to come back to life when Kotane's route takes away from the narrative. I do agree with that, yes. And and I also even think like the answer takes away from the narrative, but like I don't care because I like the, the answer. <laughs> I have to see the Shinjiro surviving thing to see how I feel about it, but like without experiencing it, I do think it takes away from the narrative. Are you Muli san? Meow. So you are Muli san. I'm so glad. Funky, let's go tell the old lady about this. Oh, there, there. You seem a little skinnier than you used to be. This little one is all I have left to keep me company. I was so lonely when Muley was missing. I don't know I can thank the both of you. Excuse me. Is being my oneself lonely? Excuse me. Oh, yes, dear. When you get to be my age, you find that all the wealth in the world won't take care of you. Bro, I already feel like that. I hate money. Why do we need money? I fucking hate it. Living alone is a dreadful thing. Some of my neighbors have delightful children, but <laughs> they aren't interested in old ladies like me. What the fuck? What does that mean? Miss. Well, Muley, do you miss your basket and blankie? Want to go home now? Thank you so much, you two.
It seems that living is something that can't be done alone. You may be right. Yes, it's important to keep someone in your thoughts and to know that you are in theirs, to be able to contact them anytime and to touch them. But I do understand one thing. I feel happy when I'm together with you. I think the answer works very well if you're sitting on it for or for a few years. The dilemma that everyone has, especially Yukari, is fantastic. It makes it all the more bittersweet. It's not necessarily a happy conclusion to be content with for everyone involved. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to put it. The answer in Shinjiro living, don't take it away from your person. is a nice little extra bonus for me. I can always pretend face fest is, uh... Yeah, yeah, no, I'm the same way. It's not that serious for me. Like, I don't really care at the end of the day. It doesn't really affect how I view the game. I still think it's a fucking masterpiece. Um, but if I had to think about it critically, yes, I do think it's like harmful to the narrative. However, I don't care. Um, again, I, I have to see that how it works in because I've never played the female route. I have to play it to see like how I feel about Shinjiro surviving. But in uh, with the answer, at least after playing it, I don't mind it at all. I, I think the answer is great. Since I still I really like the answers mass destruction. I don't remember it to be honest. Just stop if you want money to be irrelevant. I wish I could, man. I wish I could. I will shout to the, the ends of the earth, bro. Fuck money. I think the, the answer enhances the apathy syndrome and C's. For me personally, it does. I think especially with C's. It's just the whole thing with the protagonist where like, I understand why it would take away from the narrative. However, like again, I, I don't really care. Oh, wait, nope. No, 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 go back, go back. Fuck. Hello, it's me. Do you have time to talk? Yes, I always have time to talk. You do. Um, fuck it. Sure, why not? What will you do? Man, I wish I could leave the room, bro. I didn't mean to go inside here. I have to go to Tartarus. Bro, the music and the answer is insane. Can you load? I'm too lazy. Hey, Pino <laughs> Bro, BM, I, I read your thing as, Hey, Pinoy, I've always... <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I was always a big fan, but it's insane to me that you don't do shorts or TikTok, even though your humor shines the brightest in short form content or clips. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, I don't have time. I also don't like uh, short form content. I hate short form content. <laughs> um, I don't think you're wrong. Like, uh, I talked to my friend David about this. I think like taking the skits that I make in videos um, would work well as shorts or TikToks. But um, I, I have like 10 clients, bro. Like, uh, I don't have the time to like work on my own content. As much as I would like to, the best that I can do for myself is... <laughs> fuck off, Minato. Good night, man. The best that I can do is, uh, you know, take some time out of my day to stream because with streaming, I just stream and then I don't have to think about it anymore. When it comes to content creation, I, I do need to like think. And if you've watched any of my personal videos before, I put, I try to put a lot of thought into each of the videos I make. Um, at least, you know, prior, um, to my situ my current situation. So, uh, I don't really, yeah, I don't really like doing that kind of stuff. Raffle Copter, stop playing anime and make musically. That old lady, she's Muley Sound's owner. Yo, Granny, I got to date tomorrow, but uh, I don't have any money or anything, you know? Oh my, is that so? You poor dear. You're such a good boy, Kyoshi. This advance in your allowance will just be between you and me. Come on, quit it. I told you not to call me Kyoshi. Yo, somebody kick this fucking kid right now. But it's such a beautiful name. Your grandma picked it out, you know. It was the name of a fine doctor from your grandma's home village. Yeah, I know. That's only the 80 millionth time you've told me. Somebody fucking beat this kid's head in right now. Come on, hook me up already. I'm gonna fucking kill him. 
Oh, yes, yes. This isn't much. Try not to spend it all in one place. Yeah, yeah. See ya. Be careful, dear, and visit again soon. Boned. <laughs> this Kiyoshi said, bro. Whoever's running the Chris Pones You account, I encourage you to look up the Maya social link from Persona 3 and then change the way that you speak to follow the way that she talks. I will appreciate it. I wish to speak with him further. <laughs> Annoy content on some of the best on YouTube. You can't change my mind. I can change your mind because I don't upload. <laughs> Kyoshi, please wait. Jeez, don't freaking call me that. Fucking annoying ass kid. Huh? Aiki Senpai. Do you know me? Well, Doi. Oh my god, dude. Doyasu, the legendary Persona 3 streamer? You're famous. I I'm Kiyoshi Sakuma. A frosh. What the fuck is a frosh? What? Everyone calls me Joe. What? Yo, my name's Kiyoshi, but people just call me Joe. Huh? I would like to ask you something, Kiyoshi-san. Is that right? Is that all right? Uh, sure. Kiyoshi-san, do you feel lonely when you're by yourself? Huh? What? Your grandmother said that she is lonely because she has nobody else. What is this, a lecture? No, I simply wish to know. Why don't you visit your grandmother more often? Her loneliness. If you are her relative, you may have the power to alleviate it. No, nah, I'm just her grandson. But I know a lecture when I hear it. Stay out of stuff that doesn't concern you, okay? I guess use your finger guns right now. Yoshi-san, have you ever considered what it means to live? Damn, bro. <laughs> She's never met this guy before and he's literally giving it to him. It, he needs it though. To live? Personally, I think the bonds between people are what's most important. That is what your, gr your grandmother is slowly losing. To live? Are you kidding? No one seriously talks like that. Okay, I'm gonna fucking kill you. You're not wrong, but like, fuck off. What more do you need out of life than to have a blast? We have a zoomer on our hands. Having a blast. I mean, you're happy when you're having fun, right? So hell yeah, we're alive to be happy. To be happy. So what do you say, Aiga Senpai? If you get time, then why don't we... Thank you, Kyoshi-san. Let's go. Huh? What's up with that? So you were just trying to make a fool out of me, huh? Then screw you! Okay. So, um, I'm drunk XD! <laughs> there we go. Yeah, just... Dude, somebody should turn the Chris Ponzi account to, like, a bot that just, like, reciprocates everything Maya says. Okay, so, um, I'm drunk XD. <laughs> oh my god. I can't understand Kyoshi-san's feelings. And worse yet, I have angered him. Did I do something wrong? He saw me as a boyfriend. Um. Uh, I don't fucking know, dude. You brushed him off. Oh, I had not noticed that. You're absolutely correct. I comprehend. I, ever since I decided to live, I've been using words like why and how more frequently. The more time I spend with you, the more things I discover that I cannot understand. But the reason why I'm not alive, it reminds, it remains a stumbling block. Is this frustration? But at the same time, I feel fortunate. Although I'm not human, I enjoy a few privileges others do not. After all, I am able to be near you, the most precious to me. It's strange how two conflicting feelings can coexist. Dun, dun. Hanoi is such a stupid SOB. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea if it's taken or not. Zaddy Noi M, do not call me that. Please, God, do not call me that. To be honest, my feelings toward Kiyoshi san are unusually harsh. Kiyoshi has warm, soft hands he can use to feel those precious to him, and yet he. What is this ugly feeling? I wonder, is this jealousy? Let's stop this, it isn't right. Yes, I'll stop right here. Shall we go home then? We have to kill him, I guess. That's what we need to do. He's a piece of shit. Da -da 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 -da. Where, have Where have you been? Once you go to Tartarus on the 31st, you won't be able to leave until the battle is over.
You got it, Big Bear. Shut no. Please stop. Please, God, stop. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay. All right, so if we go into Tartarus, we need to get six levels. <gasps> we can go and fight Reaper on the 31st, right, chat? That's a thing. I'm not completely fucked. I need confirmation. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna be able to do Monad. I'm gonna fucking... <sighs> well, there's nothing in Monad besides high-level enemies, right? I'm pretty sure Elizabeth isn't in there until New Game Plus, right? Okay, then as long as I can beat the Reaper... That's all I need for my for my justification in this playthrough. If I can beat the Reaper, that's worth it. For for anyone who's played Persona 3 Portable, can you guys clarify something for me in that game? In Portable, um if you play the game as a female protagonist and the new game plus can you or will can you new game plus as a male protagonist or do you have to play female again? Have a little deja vu. Oh no. All right, boys and girls, how have you guys been? You can. No, I'm pretty sure. Okay. You can switch genders? Okay, okay. Oh, I thought they were weak to that. I'm not gonna lie. What the fuck are they weak to then? Oh, it was electric. Yo, 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 Pinoy, love from Sweden, my brother. Yes, sir, Shadow. How you doing, King? Okay, so I'm probably going to fight Elizabeth uh, on my portable. Uh, like, Because I'm not playing portable right now, but eventually I will. This is like a long time from now. Because I still want to do the whole, like, fight every Velvet Room defendant in one stream thing. You're unworthy of my- Yo, 292 XP? I'm gonna... What kind of people are you playing on such a beautiful day? Dude, what is like- What is your goal here? You about the portable only secret boss? Uh, no I don't. Margaret from P4 is a suit. What? Really? They all seem agitated. I didn't know that. Okay. Okay, Zach. Motherfucker. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> you're, you're good, man. You're good. I didn't know that. That's fucking cool. Oh my god, bro. I've heard him say KO so many times that as he was revving up the punch, I was like, say it, say it, say the line. Say the line, Akihiko. KO. <laughs> I've heard it so many times, bro. You guys remember like five or six Saturdays ago when I was like, all right, guys, we're going to be able to finish Persona 3 next week. 
You guys remember that? In the boss runs rush dimension? Bro, what? <laughs> KO. I am ignoring this fucking account. You can battle every moon boss? What the? That's cool. Akihiko be like, I must take out the hidden leaf with my sand attack. I am the one tailed beast, Naruto. I house Shukaku inside of me. Turn the answer's dimension with all the doors into a place to fight Margaret. That's kind of weird, but okay. It's weak against ice. Use I mean, shit, I, I'd play it. That's kind of cool. Cock! Sorry. Same VA? No, no, I know. <laughs> He's all see, Dude, Liam O'Brien plays a bunch of like voice or uh, characters that are like iconic. Like fucking, you are not prepared. Like the dude's played so many fucking iconic characters. Chad, what's up, sexy? What you doing, bro? I'm sorry. He's also like, sorry, I got Yeah, pretty much. I'm wet? Yeah, dude, me too. Oh my god, my fucking... Uh... Uh... My flesh is quaking. It's weak against strike attacks. Never mind, I'm dry. I could, uh, I could, you know... <laughs> Never mind. I forget what I'm saying. Man, I miss Naruto. I miss Kyoto, bro. Anyone else? Amen, King. What are you up to, Tyler? What's what's the plan, baby? What? Why are you just giving inspirational quotes now? So I just woke up. Uh huh. Uh huh. And yeah, that's the plan. Dude, I'm hungry. I grabbed a honey bun. Bro, I read that and then that really old song from like, I don't even know how old it is, started playing in my head, the sugar pie honey bun. You know what I'm talking about? Or am I, am I too old? You don't recognize that? Do I even have wind? Thank God. Trumpeter! I had leftover chicken fried rice when I woke up. Yeah, I had leftover jambalaya when I woke up. I'm probably gonna make pork katsu after this. On a side note, I started Tales of Hysteria. Okay. How you liking it, dude? Oh my god, I'm gonna hurt myself. Decent so far. Is is uh Zisteria the one that has the blonde girl with like pink highlights or is that Zillia? I can't remember. <sighs> Shut the fuck up. Oh my god, stop. Zillia? Okay. I still need to play more Tails games. 
Right, and Death Note is cringe. Shut the fuck up, man. Uh, excuse me. I'm all out of options. I sent you an image of the characters. Oh, okay, I've seen this one. I don't have a favorite out of anyone here, except the guy where you can't see his face. I like his hat. Oh my god, you're gonna hate me for saying this, but I think the, the guy in the bottom left looks like you if you were like an anime char character. Cause like, the guy from Triangle Strategy just straight up looks like you, but this guy looks like if somebody drew you as an anime character. I'm not even kidding. Oh my gosh, Itachi uh, is so the bee's knees. <sighs> it's because I'm white. Don't do yourself that dirty, man. After? I thought before. Wait, you're at level 82? Only eight more to go. I'm gonna... Yeah. There's no way I'm reaching, like, the level, bro. Like, I'm so fed up with this shit, dude. I am just praying that by the time I get to the final day, I can fucking fight the Reaper. Like, well, yeah, I did the same shit when I originally played. I was like, fuck this. You know what? L let's just see what happens. All right. Let's just go fight. Let's just go fight the Reaper and see what happens. I'm probably just going to get one shot again. But like, fuck it. Is this Persona 5? Yeah. This is Persona 5 for the Xbox 360. Had a pretty good run last time, just got unlucky. Was it unlucky? I feel like he just fucking killed me. <laughs> like, I know I do enough damage, but the, the guy just kind of kills me. <laughs> <laughs> that was the unlucky part. All right, well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. You decide to not die. He is literally not allowed to kill you. Mm, I like that. Got to go, uh, get SMT. You're gonna get Shin Megami i I'm, I'm sorry, that was a terrible joke. Uh, if you're off one before I get back and have a nice stream to you in chat, thank you, thank you. I'm sure it'll be better when you're not here. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, enjoy your food, brother. Thank you for stopping by. I say that in Fire Emblem all the time. It has never worked. At least you don't have Boucheron on your fucking team anymore. Fucking useless fat hunk of meat, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> True. I really enjoyed Berseria. I really enjoyed Vesperia. Wait until the next run, though, I believe, brother. I am eating the Magatama from Nocturne. We're eating worms tonight, baby. So, uh, yeah, what are you guys up to? I'm totally not waiting 10 minutes for a boss fight to happen. <laughs> I 
Wait, what? You fighting him again? I just want to see what happens. Cause I don't, I don't want to fucking like, I don't mind grinding bro, but like, I really want to play Crisis Core and Dead Space and Resident Evil 4 and, and Xenoblade 3 and like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really, really want to play those games. So like, I just want to kill this fucking guy already so I can move on. I think you fought him at Leah. I fought him at level 80 last time. I have two rules. Rule one, I'm always right. Rule two, if I'm wrong, refer to rule one. Where are you even getting these quotes from, bro? Two levels might help. Yeah, we'll see. What your personas? I have Raphael, Abaddon, Sert, Sibel, Trumpeter, Thanatos, Beelzebul, Daisojo, Hariti, G Gabriel, Mother Harlot, and Loki. Okay, that's a bar. The only person I know that could hit hit a couple bars is Tyler, bro. Like, yo, what up? My name's Tyler. I got nothing. <laughs> Where my main man Yoshitsune it doesn't exist in this game. Be careful. I sense death. Okay, bitch. Okay, that's a great start. Wonderful start. Like, I'm actually serious. Um, okay. Um, I don't even remember what my personas do. I'm not gonna lie. Dun, 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 dun. I should be buffed. I'm pretty sure I'm buffed. Okay, I need to go into the one that has concentrate, which I think is Trumputer. Yeah, okay. You. And concentrate. Okay, so maybe I did not have the fire ring on. I have to check that. I may have not had the fire ring on. Hey, August. Oh, what happened? I got one shot. That is true. The fact that Agidine did not one shot is uh, very huge. Okay, I still had the crit thing. So we need... Sigma Drive. Where's the... Bro, what? Didn't I have a fire? Chat, am I going crazy right now? Does Mitsuru have it? Yeah, she does. Ah, okay. Um. I'm going to take the fire ring because I need it more because if I die, it's over.
could give her endure. But I don't think that helps that much. Cause she's gonna hit the weakness anyway. I don't fucking know, man. Berserker seal, sure. Okay, then. Maybe just take the revive instead. I, well, I guess he does have instant kills, right? Okay. We'll, we'll give her that for instant kills. Is it? Oh. Alright. How do you multiply EXP? Well, I'll bet you if I could kill the Reaper, I'd, I'd get a nice, nice amount of XP there. You know what I'm saying? I saved, right? There's cheats you would need to use. I think if I cheat, it's going to corrupt my save, though. And also, Fuka will call me a cheater. August, do you want to eat uh, pork when I'm done streaming or no? Do you want to eat a fat fucking pig? Send some to me? Yeah, brother. It's me. Someone help me, Tsuru Senpai! actually hurts it the thing is it's like it's because i remember tyler tried doing save states or i don't know he was doing something and like it broke the game so I, i've just played as vanilla as possible to prevent that from happening to me it makes me kind of wish i i didn't play mata because like i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys and I know for some people, this is like sacrilege. I don't want to fucking grind anymore. All right? I don't. Like, I am totally okay with, like, giving myself six levels. So that, like, I don't have to do this anymore. It, it, it's it's the sh same shit that, like, I talked about with, um, where for some reason... People think grinding equals difficulty when it's not. It's like grinding is literally just tedium, bro. Like the actual difficulty comes from how the fight is made itself. And like, I do get the sense that outside of basically the super bosses in this game are like poorly designed. Like all of the, the, the um, moon bosses are great. Not the full moon, the the uh, Tartarus bosses, you know what I mean? Those are great boss fights. But like, from what I understand, and I could be wrong, but from what I understand, it seems like with the Reaper and Elizabeth slash Theodore, you have to cheese them. And I don't like that. I don't want the only fucking way for me to fight a boss is by cheesing it. I just think that's really dumb. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, why is it that the only viable way I seem to have to fight the Reaper be using Armageddon? Like, that, that's so dumb to me. Like, I don't want to just one-shot the boss. I want to have, like, a legitimate fight.
feeling that death is near. We go for where's my food? Fuck off. Yeah, we mostly eat chicken, but there was a sale on pork. You telling me I'm not allowed to have some fucking pork in my life? I'm not on the right persona. Like, this is what I mean, bro. <laughs> it, like, what? I don't even have, like, I can't even plan a turnout. <laughs> like, I praise the Demi Fiend fight so much because it's so, like, legitimately difficult. But, like, this is, like... Is my only option literally just getting Hellel and casting Armageddon? I don't want to do that, man. Use this. Only one enemy left. Get Messiah. I, I need to be like level 90 something for that. Oh my fucking god. Gonna be okay, Pinoy. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Yo, thank you, Burn, for the 22 months and Pinoy. <laughs> yeah, thank you, man. Thank you. Okay, maybe we can recover. Maybe we can recover. You know what I'm thinking about doing, chat? I'm thinking about trying to fight him by myself. I'm very curious to see how that would work. Because, like, an example is the twins are way easier if you fight by yourself. But it's still possible with a party. Maybe I can make this work if I just fight by myself. When you give up, that's when the game is. Uh. 
I already mind charged myself. Yeah, I don't think heat risers in this. I don't know how I'm gonna handle. Uh, maybe I just don't buff my attack. I only buff my defense. So it's like because I get three turns, right? So buff defense, mind charge, attack. Buff defense, mind charge, attack. That's probably how I have to do it. Something like that. Okay, we're getting really lucky actually. This is a good sign. This is a very good sign. It's still alive. I have to buff my defense next turn. I'm already being risky right now. Okay. You know what? I never had a problem with damage. I know I do enough damage to fight him. The, the problem was always like surviving. Right now, we're being extremely lucky because his AI is like choosing really stupid things. So maybe there's a chance here. Does he always do a break when you swap personas? I swear he keeps doing that. Does anyone else notice that? Let's see what if I change to Raphael. Is he going to break? Okay, no. But that's a good that's a good choice too. Vile assault is more than fine. Yeah, this is like the six hundredth attempt. Here we go, trumpeter. see this every time I've swapped a trumpeter he tries to, to do that is his AI broken like I'm confused every time I've swapped the trumpeter he's done that I'm not complaining but like I feel like I just changed games to nocturne all of a sudden you know what I'm saying It's 
If he fire breaks me here, then he's stuck on some weird loop. Okay. This is fine. Who has a, a higher base magic attack stat? Well, I, actually, I see this guy do. He hits for 100. And then, yep, what's her name? Hits for like 60, so. Fine. Let's go to Hariti. Hariti. Please miss. I did this, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did this. So now Raphael. Oh no. Okay. That's big. I have to do this. Give me the 32 months. Rob me for 32. Okay, man. Come on, brother. How you doing, uh, dude? I don't want to say anything yet, but this definitely does look promising. My hands are sweating because like, like, can you see, like, are my hands glistening? I'm legit, like, nervous, bro. He's gonna hit, yeah. Okay, and then he needs to not... Honestly, that's fine. I do need to restore MC's SP here, though. Okay. I think I can Zeodyne with him. We'll use Yukari's turn to restore SP. Still alive. Yeah, 
Yeah, fuck it. I will never be a memory. <laughs> oh, fuck. Thank God for the homunculus. I don't know how many homunculi I have. I do miss a turn with the MC though, so that might break his AI again, which is kind of bad. Is there an item that can pick up a teammate that's downed? Because I, I actually, this turn is so important because I don't know if it's going to like fuck his AI again, like, or fix his AI, I guess. I'm pretty sure there is an item that does that. Homeboy, you guys doing Buddhist chats? Listen, man. <laughs> Justice, <laughs> keep that shit to yourself. Repatra. I don't think I have one. This is a little like nerve wracking. I'm kind of scared. I'm not going to lie. I just got to pray, I guess. My heart stopped because I read me Patra, but yeah, I guess I just pray. The worst scenario is he Agi dines Mitsuru and then he Maragi dines and kills everybody. No way he's an idiot. We do have moist cake. Yes, we do. Does it require of Mipacha or Repacha? No. God, I was I was stressing hard that turn, bro. This is a little scary because we don't have a defense up. Okay. Yes! Okay, okay. God, he actually got frozen. What the fuck? Holy fuck, Lois. You know what? I shouldn't have Gari died that turn. I should have used a protection sutra. I hope that doesn't bite me in the ass. I really hope that doesn't bite me in the ass. God, I hope that doesn't bite me in the ass.
Please, God. This is doable. I owe you one. I didn't revive Mitsuru there, even though she does more damage, because she doesn't debuff and because she has a weakness that he can exploit. Oh my god, he's gonna hit Akihiko, isn't he? This is what I didn't want to see, man. Now he's doing the shit. Now he's actually using his brain, bruh. Fuck! Now he's using his brain. Oh my god, damn it. Bro waited until right now to do this. Soma, Soma doesn't revive. I'm pretty sure it's just a heal, right? Yeah. I think I have to solo it. I think I have to solo it. I'm pretty sure the only way I win this is I solo. If I try to revive my team, they're never going to get revived. I have to solo it. I'm literally doing the Shido boss fight, bro, but it's actually difficult. I think I, I block that, right? Okay, thank God I saw the homunculus. Jesus, fuck. Oh my God! Do I defense up or do I attack up, bro? I don't know. He hasn't hit me with any attacks yet. The only attacks he hit main character with is fucking insta-kill moves. He might not hit me with any... I think I attack up. because I don't think he's going to use a Garu or something on me. He hasn't done it yet. So we're going to do this, mind charge, and then we attack with cert. Okay, he's still doing this. Please, God, miss. Oh my God, no. How many homunculus do I have, bro? We'll hit again. No way I still have homunculi, bro. <laughs> what is going on? Oh no. I should have defensed up. 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 He didn't use that the whole fucking game, bro. Oh my god, bro. Fuck. I really lost to that one turn where the AI just all of a sudden started working um, and it like hit everybody's weakness in a row. He did not do that the whole fucking time. Not Meggy the Lawn cute. <laughs> I got to show you guys that video one day. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to keep fighting the Reaper. I don't know why his AI just... Because every time I fought this guy, he it, the AI works. It, that was the first time I fought him, and it, it didn't work. Like, you know what I'm saying? Every time I fought the Reaper, he always hits everybody's weaknesses and then kills me. Every time. That's the first time he didn't do that. I was like shocked. I couldn't believe it. 
Sucks to see you lose, bro, next time, I believe. But I'll see you later, Alex. The Reaper, he was like two shot. He needed two more hits. Is going to start working. I have to hope that the AI doesn't work, pretty much. Also, I really don't want to fight this thing because I don't want to waste my SP. Maybe I'll just fucking stand here and wait for the Reaper to come to me instead of waiting at the staircase. Mind charge plus Ragnarok can be a, it was off by a little bit. It was off by just a little bit. It would I would have needed uh, two hits and would have died. What's up, Boomstick? How you doing, brother? Dude, I got a piece so fucking bad. But I don't want to fucking... Can I pull up the menu and he won't come? Whatever. We'll see. I'm going to go use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Glasses just flip the face. That was so cruel and I've been through worse. Nothing will ever top the pain that I felt fighting Demi Fiend. You guys remember that shit? Did you wash your hands? Yes, I washed my hands. <laughs> Where's my... Okay. Five, yeah. That shit was nuts. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think my 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 balls have ever been fucking held in somebody's hand and scrunched that fucking hard, bro. My peanuts would have fucking exploded like a goddamn pistachio, dude. I <laughs> that shit was holy. Double check my personas. Okay, Raphael, good. I can go Raphael into Trumpeter. If you guys are okay with it, just because we got close that one time, I think if even if I don't beat her or beat him today. Uh, I think I'm just going to keep trying this because, like, I'm confident. Fun fact, Elizabeth and Isabeau share the same vo uh, voice actor. I did not know that. That's pretty cool. Isabeau's the goat. Oh, there you are. Oh, my God. I can't wait to play this. It's a good game, brother. Okay, did we just die turn one? Oh, my God. We lived. Okay. Oh, he's going next. Okay, so I have to heal. Um, Can you finish P5 Royal? Brother, you got this. How much do you have left in the game? 
Oh, how? I, I'm actually curious. How many? I should have checked. How many homunculi do I have, bro? I'm about 50 hours in. Oh my god, you you got a lot to go through. That is a beefy game. How are you liking it though? The best games I've played. Let's fucking go, baby. Finally, another of my brothers. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, no, because he died. Death really takes no damage. Eh, I'm used to it. When you when you fought as many super bosses as I have at this point, bro, you're used to it. You just make the best that you can. <laughs> as I said, you you make do with what you got. You make do with what you got. No matter how painful. So far this run is fine, like the AI seems to be fine, but um oh. I guess we're all out of sync because of the deaths that have happened. Mm. Yeah, everyone's out of sync now. Thanks. Kills come in clutch every time. Yeah, I need to see how many I have. At least you know you have like four. Yeah, I should count, honestly. with the sudden change in this guy's AI. It's like weird. Just keep going forever. No way I missed again, dude. I mean, I'll be honest, you know, I'm definitely out there for uh, not supporting the Chris Pones you in my in, of my past. Any agreeers? All right, Afghan. I'll see you later, brother. I mean, it's going fine so far. We've missed like 
all of our critical attacks, but it's fine. With spoilers? Oh, don't don't worry, bro. I'm not. Uh, I'm just fighting the Reaper today. I'm not gonna be doing any story stuff. Yeah, I'll see you later, DXG. I Chris pones you. You've hurt my past. You're hurting my chat. Think about your actions. Okay, I didn't see what happened. Did you perma? No, I banned him for a day. Chat, did I hit him with Ragnarok? I don't remember. I think I did, because I'm on Rag or I'm on search already. What was my cycle? Now I go to Har Hariti? Yeah, Hariti. Then defense. Okay, we're not out of sync anymore. Doom, please miss. Okay. I don't know what happened that changed his demeanor this much. Honestly, I'll take that miss. If anyone is going to miss, have it be Yukari. Because, like... I need everyone else to hit. If she tanks the bad RNG, I'm, I'm okay with it. I couldn't finish it off. Yeah, his AI is like giving me a chance. That's why. Okay, never mind. I just spoke too soon. Oh my god, we survived. That's the defense buff coming through, dude. I would have died 100%. We're fine. She has such a sick looking persona. That's fine. As long as MC and Mitsuru don't miss, it's okay. Th those are like the main ones that I need to attack. Akihiko and Yukari are more like supportive than this. Fine if he dies. Okay. The only one I can't have die is is mainly me and Yukari. Although honestly, I'm okay with tanking a few of those, just because um, what do you call it? I seem to have a lot of homunculus. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna preemptively um no no I'm just gonna attack maybe next turn I will I will revive my SP Buff debuff bot, dude. Like, uh okay. I let my guard down. That was scary. Honestly, or I was gonna say, honestly, um, I think the way they designed, because I can't pick his skills uh, on level up. The way they designed his like skills that are picked as he levels up are so poor. Like he's a physically physical focused persona user. But in late game, he doesn't learn physical skills. Like, what? I don't know. It's really weird. He's not like a bad unit or anything, but he's definitely not super good. He's like, I'd say like I'm slightly above average because he gets great debuffs, but it, it just turns him to be. Yeah, he basically just becomes pure utility. Um. Okay, I just like lost my thought process. Hold on, who's next? I can afford another attack in here. Go from P5. Yeah, but like her persona is is well attuned to magic. Um, Akihiko's is not. I think like if instead of Zeodyne, if he got God's hand, he'd be he'd be great. But for some reason he doesn't. Like it's just weird. Uh do this. And I can't get Yukari to die here, so hopefully he doesn't like insta-kill her. He's gonna hit Mitsuru. Wow, Mitsuru actually died. Holy fuck, that was close. I'm gonna revival bead and then I'm going- well, how many bead chains do I have? I have enough. That's fine. Revival bead. And then Akihiko should be next. Dual bead chain. Hopefully he tries to insta-kill me or like break or something, something like that. I need to like restore my SP though. 
Okay, that's really good. Just do this. My defense again. Yukari might die, so it really depends on what skill he uses. I hope he uses like an insta kill on me. That's like best case scenario. Or a break skill. That's, that's okay, there we go. I just heal myself and we're okay. He just has to like not become smart all of a sudden and then hit everybody's weakness and kill us all Why does he have ice break um, just in case you have like uh, no ice pretty much bad actually I let my guard down. Kari's next, right? Okay. So the only bad thing is now some people have defense up, some people don't. I don't know who does and who doesn't. I wasn't paying attention. I think I'm just going to put the defense back up. The fact that she died with a defense up at max HP is insane. That is insane, bro. God. Did he crit? I didn't even see. Is he gonna... Okay. I thought he was going to just gonna start murdering everyone again.
Is there a way for me to see if I'm buffed without, like... Okay. This is kind of scuffed, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is kind of scuffed. Please don't hit everybody. Okay. Not bad, not bad. I can't remember if I've mind charged yet. I hope I haven't. Okay. Bro, 4 HP. Okay, that's actually fine. If he went if he did the AoE one, that would have been rough, but thank god he didn't. Finally, I can land an attack. I've waited six years for this. Watch it miss. Okay. Oh, that's scary. Don't kill Yukari. Fuck me. This is great. Let's just revive. I'm assuming he's going to try to kill Mitsuru again. I have to do this. Ikari's out of SP, which is concerning, but I do have a lot of uh, eggs, so. I'm sorry if I'm not reading chat too much. I just don't want to lose again. Okay, don't kill Yukari. Oh my god, bro. At this point, I think I... I um... Finally, Soma? Yeah, I, I think Soma might actually be the play. Soma's definitely the play. Now it is not the play. Now I have to solo it. Yeah. Uh... Okay. It's showtime. 
Yo, Dolph, thank you for 53 months. Hey, Mess, you struggling? Do you want a pro gamer move? <laughs> what is it? What is it? <laughs> I have I have two options here, right? It's either attack or heal. Um, if I attack, I have to hope he goes for an insta kill move because I have homunculi that will defend me, so I don't die. If he uses vile assault, myriad arrows, a normal attack, or any of the elemental skills, I die. Um, or Maggie Dewan, I die. Uh, I, he basically, I think I have to heal. I think I have to heal. Okay, I definitely have to stay on Trumpeter because I don't have any weaknesses. So I heal on Trumpeter. Um... Yeah, I am, but Abaddon is weak to spells. I, I think Trumpeter is my best play, just sitting on him. So let me bead. I shouldn't have beaded. I should have summoned. That was stupid. I should have summoned. He's mind charging. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Um, shit. Okay. We'll definitely do this. There is reflect shenanigans, but um, if if you are if you're not weak to anything, he's just gonna do that. <laughs> He'll just Megidola over and over. Wow. He killed me through defense. Okay. Alright, I'm trading this again. You can perma stunlock the Reaper, just saying. Might I inquire on this method you speak of? Yeah, Megidola is actually just GG. I'm curious though. Is it seems like he only does the mind charge Megidola like when he when he's ending it. Is there a turn limit to kill the Reaper? Does anyone know? Well, grab a Thor and a Taka Mikazuki. Okay, okay. What spell are we using? What spell are we using, King? Hit that crisp godlike thunder call, yeah. Is that Loki thunder cloud talking about? Yeah, no, no, I know about it. I know about it. <laughs> you pretty well. Yeah, it's doable. It, there's just a lot of situations where I really need the AI to work in my favor. That's the only thing. So it's, it's pretty RNG heavy. Not gonna lie. Oh, this thing's gonna scream in my ears. Oh my god. If you don't want me to kill you, man, just walk out of my way. Okay. Thank you. All right. I think I got enough time for one more try, and then that's it. Let's turn and get it back up. Yeah, I don't have a way to get myself to 100% crit. I tried doing revolution plus an item that increases my crit chance. And I actually got like a decent amount of crits in, but it wasn't consistent. So I stopped doing it. <sighs> I'm getting really hungry. Thunder called 100% uh, paralyzed. No, I know. I just want to beat it without cheesing it.
I wonder if a leck break makes it possible to shock him more. I don't know. Is that a thing? God, I hate how long I have to wait for this thing. I just want to fight him. I thought you didn't max chariot for Thor. Yeah, I didn't. I thought electric mix is a yeah, it does. I don't know if it does anything else though. There's a lot of weird skills in here that don't specify everything that a skill does. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I know. Chase Odin, not Thor. I thought Thor is Emperor, or uh, Odin is Emperor. I could be wrong, but. Either way, I don't have Emperor or Chariot. Fucking Max. <laughs> Ugh. Let's get it this time for sure. Yeah, yeah, let's hope RNG's on my side, dude. That's all I need. I need some RNG so I can go watch uh, Frosty. And enjoy some good old fighting games, dude. That's what I need. Right. Come here. That level 60 at one night. <laughs> no, dude. No hit. Okay, great start. Great start. Man, he's just picking us off one by one. The fuck? This is hype, dude. I missed day one. I wanted to cry. I like. I was talking to my friend about how, dude, I'm so fucking excited to watch this shit. And then the day came on day like for day one, and I completely forgot about it existing. <laughs> I remembered when I was about to go to sleep. I was like, okay. Yeah, no, I know. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> this is the Reaper that I know, boys. This is the Reaper that I know. This is what he usually does. This is what he usually does. Okay. Immaculate start. Hang in there. <sighs> I can't be the only one that hates fat fucks. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Am I right? God, I hate fat people, right? Oh my god. They're so annoying. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Okay. All right, we actually recovered.
I think I already hit him. I can't remember. God, I wish I had a way to see my buffs, bro. It's really annoying. I think they're down. Hello, bro. Well playing, can you drop your top 10 games of all time? I don't know what to play nowadays. Oh my god. I don't know if I know, like, if I could do that while I'm thinking about this uh, fight, but. Um, Final Fantasy VII, uh, Final Fantasy VI, uh, Pokemon Emerald. Uh, Jet Set Radio Future, um, Resident Evil 4, uh, uh, Sound Hill 2, I don't know, Th these are just what's coming to my head right now. Persona 5 Royal, Persona 3, I don't know. That's not in order, that was just off the top of my head. Nice edits, thank you, thank you. No Fire Emblem? Okay. Three Houses is up there. I just, listen, it just didn't come to my head. Uh, that was a really sad miss, by the way. Oh, Dragon Quest XI would be up there too. That's a game that one of my friends got. He played the fuck out of it, dude. I'm like, he, he got up to this one boss where there's like this giant squid octopus thing. And like, it was basically the final boss. He fucking murdered that thing. It was, it was so, oh God. <laughs> Music choices are immaculate. Oh, thank you, man. It seems like his AI got dumbed down again. Hopefully, hopefully that stays that way. And it was like, he was really, really smart in the beginning. And now he just gets stupider. Instead of like starting stupid and getting, and getting smarter, you know? I'll show you my true power. Sorry. The one that made me fall in love with the Persona series. Oh, thank you, brother. I'm sorry, <laughs> but thank you. Please, God, be on my side. I would like to be rid of the Reaper today. I would very much love that. I can't imagine life without Persona now. Bro, I'm so sorry, Sam. <laughs> I hope you don't get bullied because of me, man. Genuinely, I really hope so. I just love this fucking series so much. Really, this shit makes me so happy. Hang in there. 
Just curious to know what you feel about remaking Silent Hill 2. Do you have doubts for Bloober Team to fuck it up? Um, I've never played any of Bloober Team stuff except Layers of Fear, and I didn't think Layers of Fear was very good. Um, but to be honest with you, uh, I mean, I heard Observer was great. Um, I don't have much of an opinion on Bloober Team, if I'm being real with you. But, uh, I saw that they're bringing in, um, a couple of people from, from Team Silent, uh, to do, or to, hold on. Okay, that's good. Oh, I forgot I'm weak to it. Losing a turn kind of sucks. Oh, actually, I got back up because of the, uh... Okay, that's actually fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, I saw they got some people from Team Silent to work, uh, to, like, kind of man Bloober Team for this. Uh, and when I saw that, like, pretty much any worries I may have had are basically gone. And I know a lot of people thought the tone of the trailer was, like, wrong. Um, I would say only the music choice could have been better, but, um, I thought the trailer was good. And I think the game looks great. Uh, if anything, I'm just happy that a modern audience can experience Silent Hill 2. Because, um, as long as, you know, it, it does hit the same beats as the original. Because, uh, in my opinion, God, it's so hard to, like, come up with thought while I'm doing this. Um... Uh, Silent Hill 2 is one of the best stories ever told in gaming or not even just in gaming just in general Silent Hill 2 story is, is incredible and everyone should at least you know like read it or something it, it's such a good story uh, and I think seeing it come uh, you know into today's world is amazing Um, God, it is hard to talk while I'm focusing on this fight. I'm so sorry. I played nearly every percentage of the not on this. Yeah, <laughs> I feel you. Uh, Akira Yamaoka's. Yeah, I know, dude. Is this new Silent Hill a remake or a new entry? Both. They announced like three new entries one mainline entry, two spin offs, and then a remake of Silent Hill 2. Um, if there's only one Silent Hill you ever play in your life, it should be Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 2 is like, like a philosophically brilliant game. It's, it's pretty incredible. Really, what? The, yeah, I know the series is dead for literally 20 years, and then like they had like the fattest revival ever seen in my life. It's really pretty amazing to be honest. Um, the new entry, the new mainline entry. Um, I don't know anything about this writer. Maybe you guys do. His name is Ryu Ryukishi07. I believe he did Higurashi or something like that. That guy is writing the story for the new Silent Hill game. And apparently a lot of people are excited about that. Um, I don't know anything about him, but hey, I trust people's opinions. The one show on the place to showcase. Yeah, a lot of a lot of fans are pretty excited. I think the only thing uh, is a lot of Silent Hill Two has a lot of diehard fans, understandably so. But with that comes a lot of like doubt because, again, I don't know anything about the team that's remaking it. Um, they have okay. How do I explain this? Look, it's easy to understand, man. They have people from the original team who are leading the development, but the actual team that's developing the game is not the original team. It's a team that is basically like a fan company in a way, or like a fan studio. They kind of created their studio because they love Silent Hill 2 specifically. So a lot of their games are like heavily inspired by Silent Hill 2, but they don't tell the stories that the story that Silent Hill 2 told in a very um good manner like it's it's narratively told poorly and it doesn't handle mental illness in the best way uh specifically in their game the medium but um that's why a lot of people are worried and again understandably so but i think if if the people from the original team are the ones that are reining them in it's probably fine 
Okay. That took a lot of brain power. Um, we must enlighten the masses. The underform must be indoctrinated. <laughs> fucked. If you Google his works, maybe don't do it in public. Which is fine, but you can tell from the direction it's going. Yeah, so that's like a... That's another thing, uh, too. Is a big part of Silent Hill 2. Uh, like, I'll be completely straight with you. It plays like ass, but it fits the narrative of the game. And I know that sounds so weird uh, to explain, but it just... Take my word for it. For the narrative that they're trying to tell, it's good that the controls are kind of ass. But um, it looks like in the remake, they're kind of touching that up so it's not garbage. And personally, I don't care. I think that's fine. Um, but a lot of people are not happy about that. Uh, again, understandably so, but for me, it doesn't bother me. James, James, they have this, yeah. Bro, have you ever seen the meme where he he's watching the TV and um, it's like the scene where the truth happens, you know? And instead of like being sad, he's like sad and then he gets him and starts twerking. Have you ever seen that? <laughs> That shit is so funny. Okay. No, what the, dude, I was dying. It's even playing the same song. It's like right when the fucking, uh, what is it called? Truth or true? I can't remember. I don't know. That shit was hilarious. No kids sucked. As long as they have a proper direction, then it's like, yeah, th that's what I think. As long as like, you know, the original directors are like reining them in and making sure they're not fucking it up. I think it'll be fine. Based off of what we've seen, it looks pretty true to the original. Like mostly true to the original. If I had to like nitpick, um, I think they could touch up Pyramid Head's walking animation. He walks a little too normal. Um... Or he doesn't walk normal enough. I don't know how to explain it. I don't, Pyramid Head is like a very strange. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not gonna get into this. <laughs> Combat is pretty jank with the story. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yukishi is an amazing writer. Yeah, see, everyone keeps saying that, which has me excited. I, when you, if you watch, it's called Silent Hill F. That's the new mainline game. Um, the trailer was incredible. I know it was only CG, but like, I was pretty hyped just off the CG, bro. It looked so cool, uh, just like unique wise. Or uh, yeah. Uh, one is pretty all right. More focus on the aspect of the cult and the origins of the town. Yeah, I like Silent Hill One. Silent Hill One's great. Silent Hill 3, I think, is really good. Silent Hill 4, I think, is underrated as fuck. Um, I never played any of the other ones. I want to play Shattered Memories. Pyramid Head fucking a mannequin in 4K sounds dope. Honestly, yeah. What he shoots himself? <laughs> yeah, he's committing Persona 3. Okay. Oh, this might be bad. Okay, that's fine. Oh no, Mitsuru Senpai! Please don't tell me I have to debuff. this missing every other attack I don't unfortunately <laughs> well I mean I do have it on Akihiko I guess there's no reason to not do it it just feels like whenever I use it it's not doing anything in this game specifically but I guess I have no reason to not do it right You're dropping the ball there. I'm gonna be honest. I don't even know what she did, Sam. Okay. Please don't kill Yukari. 
Oh my god, they didn't kill Yukari, but it killed half my fucking team. Don't come from the game or no? Yeah, it's this is the battle theme for the game. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm very curious about it. Uh eco-friendly. Please don't kill everybody. Fucking Christ, man. What do I got to do to get a W around here? I gotta solo it. Fuck. What? Are you okay? Please be more careful. Since when can he do that? Are you living, brother? I'm fine, man. Okay, so defense up doesn't matter because the only thing that he can hit me with that'll kill me or that will like do damage or that I can, um, whatever you guys know what I'm saying. Megi Dill is the only thing I need to worry about and defense up doesn't matter so I should just try to kill him as fast as possible. That's the only option I have. I don't think anything got as close as that first run, unfortunately. That's really a shame. But, um, all right. I cannot play anymore today, unfortunately. Maybe next time we play, we might actually beat him. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I think I just have to get a, a little bit luckier. Um, I just really don't want to grind anymore, dude. I'd rather take my chance at, you know, trying to beat him. I think it's way more fun to watch as well. Um, at least we're all on our fucking, on the edge of our seats. But, um, yeah, I'm going to end my stream for now. I'll be back again. Next Saturday, we're going to play more Persona 3. Um, if you'd like, you can join my Patreon for an extra two streams uh, per week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, what is it? The $5 tier? Yeah. Patreon at $5 tier. You can join my Discord for updates. But uh, for now, I'm out. Uh, I will see you all um, next week. Bye-bye. Good job. Yeah, yeah. I got a lot accomplished today. I literally, I didn't get a level. I didn't beat the Reaper. It's basically as if the stream didn't fucking happen. I literally did nothing. Fucking useless. Thanks for watching the stream. I hope you had a good time. If you enjoyed and you want to support me, please check out my Patreon by typing exclamation point Patreon in chat. You'll get two bonus streams per week. And if you're interested in commissioning me to edit your YouTube videos, expect a nice little discount. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a dislike if you didn't. God bless you all, and I will see you next time.
Nothing's right.